okay. That's why that's why I said take Zerg Tick Tick, because it was the closest to your character, minus, minus, minus weapons. Right. Yeah, combat. I What am I using as a weapon? A knife. Get up, fucking shank people. It's, um... Rick. It's a... High... Or low damage, high hit weapon. Is it just a regular like, solid knife? Uh, no, it has Pierce and Vicious on it, which is... Uh, I think you do two more damage every time it hits with Pierce. Hold on. Weapon characteristics... All right, vicious. Uh, when the weapon scores a critical injury to the character, the character adds ten times the vicious rating to the roll. So you have a vicious one, I think. So you add a plus ten to the critical rating, making it ten out of a hundred worse. Ooh. And then what was the other one? The other one was Pierce. Yep, Pierce, and that's Pierce two. Uh, so when an attack made with this weapon, ignore. Uh, when an attack is made with this weapon. Ignore one point of soak for each rank of pierce. So you ignore two points of soak. So I, I ignore two rank points of the armor, pretty much. Two damage reduction of their armor. Yeah. So armor armor really gives you two different things. It gives you um, extra difficulty dice to hit you, and then it gives you soak. Damage, yeah. Yep. And the soak is you. You personally are going to ignore the first two points of soak. Okay. Uh, so you can see you're technically your low damage, but your high crit, high hit. Yeah, I still feel like I don't want to get close at all. Those strains high though. Like I, I'm not gonna lie, it's a high strain. But yeah. All right, Hash. It's all on you, man. Let's let's get it going. Yeah. Pass it. Yeah, yeah. Do, do I need to read the crawl, or do you, do you get the gist of it? Whatever you want. It's your game. Yeah, I wanted to fucking have the crawl, but I couldn't figure out how to broadcast it through Discord and do it like the movies, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyways. Yeah. See if it looks. All right, it's a period of unrest and opportunity in the galaxy. The Galactic Empire struggles to maintain, maintain control in the midst of civil war. Meanwhile, scoundrels and smugglers exfiltrates and uh, fringers of all types scramble for a living in the edges of the galactic civilization. It is a hard life, but these renegades have more freedom and opportunity than any citizen of the core worlds. On the desert world of Tantooine, a few such renegades have run afoul of a local crime boss, Timo the Hutt. Trapped in the tiny space port of Mas Shuda, the renegades have no choice but to steal the star from Timo's forces. Fortunately, a suitable starship has recently docked at the landing bay a freighter called the Crate Fang, which happens to be a YT-1300, uh, captained by a transdosian slaver named Trex. As they flee through the suns of the... Or, sorry, as you guys flee through the suns of the Bake Streets, the renegades duck into the local cantina to hide from their pursuers. So now, like I said, you guys each take two strain damage, and you're running in to the cantina. As you step down a short flight of stairs into the cantina's shadowy common room, the cool air of the blessed relief from the scorching heat of Tantooine, the Devorian bartender pauses in his chores to stare at you, his devilish features intimidating. On the stage... By the far walls, a Twi'lek woman, she's dancing to recorded music. Private booths line the walls, and the cantina floor is scattered with tables and chairs. A few patrons turn to their seats to set you. The only other exits you see from the room are what looks to be a storage closet. In the corner, 
a doorway behind the Twi'lek dancer, and the arched roof above you is supported by thick, heavy struts. You only have a few moments to find a hiding place before Timo's thugs arrive. What do you do? So your options are convince the Twi'lek dance girl uh, to let you go backstage. You can uh, step into the storage closet and jam the door shut. Uh, you can climb the support struts where the extra booze is stored. You can get in behind the bar and pretend to be a bartender. Or you can just sit down at the bar and uh, pretend nothing's happening. Once each hero makes his or her choice, that player should construct a dice pool and roll his or her skill check. Then I got to roll for the Gamorians. I think I'm gonna try and go hide behind the dancers' dressing room. Oh, you're fighting sleep, buddy. So what do I what do, what do I gotta roll to see if I can successfully? Convince you gotta her? do a skill check. So you need. Collect a pool of die. The dice listed in this character sheet for the skill in question plus one purple difficulty die. Okay, so one purple. What's the what's the skill? So the skill would be while well, you're I'm not sure. stealth. The core mechanic. Whenever a character attempts an action, that's a change. Chance of failure, a skill check is performed to determine whether or not the action succeeds. The core mechanic determines the success or failure as follows. Roll a pool of dice. Failure symbols are those, they're like a oh, oh, triangle oh. type symbol. Dice pool. Whenever the character performs a check, the player controlling that character called the active player rolls a pool of dice. Yeah, I know about this. Each character's skill entry on his or her sheet has a dice pool indicated in a collection of green ability dice. And then the yellow one is a proficiency dice. Fuck, I'm gonna get my dice out so I know which ones I'm talking about. Is, are the dice on roll 20? Did yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, yeah, we'll just, yeah. You need to know what skill to roll. Like, what, what oh, skill does that check call for? Whatever skill you're using. All right, cool. I'm just gonna try and sneak back there then. All right, hey Brian. So when you roll that at the top of your page, since he said it was one purple, you gotta go to the top and add in a purple before you actually roll it. Oh, I do have two sets of fucking dice, dude. Do you know how much these things are worth now that they're hard to find? Okay, so there's the purple one and then the green one. So I'm not sure how many green ones. Yeah, we, we rolled them. Well, Damien's still got a roll. Damien, what are you what are you trying to do, Damien? Well, my rolling. <laughs> first, first, what are you trying to do? Uh... I guess I'll go and uh, I'll hide in the room closet, I guess. Alright, so up top, you'll see a dice pool. Change oh, it I to see, yeah. one purple, like at the top of your character sheet. Yeah, yeah. the the yeah. dice pool up here where it has all the dice laid out. One purple and two yep. green yep. and Re a yellow. Reset that and make it one purple. Yeah, I got it. So it's one purple, one yellow, and two green. Nope, just just put it one purple and then go down to your stealth and click this the roll button on stealth. It'll add that it'll add the dice pool into whatever you roll down further on your sheet. Oh, so the stealth should already have the two green and yep. the yellow. Yep, the stealth I just already need has all your stuff. One purple. So you just gotta change whatever you're adding to your normal roll. Okay. And then what I just click stealth? Yep. The the dice on the far right of stealth, yeah. Oh, I see the little roll twenty icon. Mm-hmm. Boom. 
Why is that fall? All right. So, Hash, you see all three rolls? I'm back to you. I'm trying to get Discord to work on the laptop so I can have everything rocking on one. Okay. So, I go. Where do I go to see the rolls? The dice picture? The, the chat. The chat, chat on roll 20. Chat. All right. So, the chat, I have to click here because I'm in the. Give my laptop a second. There we go. Right. Oh. You guys forgot to. That first roll forgot to include a purple die. Yeah, it's, he re rolled it again. Three. Okay. So, like, mine was three successes and an advantage. Uh, One's the one I'm concerned about. K-Ray was four successes and a despair, or a threat. And then Zertic was four advantages, no success. Yeah. No success. Yep. But he did get four advantages, which isn't fucking insane yeah well I have to now I gotta roll for for the Gamorians does that mean I didn't hide well so that it probably means you didn't hide well but something else good comes of it depending on what he depends. yeah like fucking the Gomorian walk in, if I roll his dice and he fails, he kind of looks your direction but trips and falls on his face type deal without okay. seeing you. So it's good luck then. It's pretty much I now have good luck. Yeah. Does Brian's character female? Oh, I thought you are getting a lap dance. <laughs> yeah, somebody's getting a lap dance. Uh -huh. uh, so somebody's, he's hiding in the private booth giving somebody a lap dance. <laughs> so Brian, you're now getting a lap dance, or you're giving a lap dance. I'm sorry. The Ewoks giving a lap dance. <laughs> Good enough. For Wait, you. Is he? It's a little fluffy teddy bear. <laughs> All right, leave me alone and let me do this. Okay, so now, success or failure, that symbol, if there are more success symbols than failure symbols, then the check succeeds, but what if you have the advantage symbol? So advantage could be a good thing, what is that? Things, hash. Um... Examples they give of advantages. Uh, one advantage, regain a strain, add a blue to an ally's check, notice a single important point going on. Three advantages, they don't even go to four, but three advantages, negate yeah. the targeted enemy's defensive bonus, uh, ignore environmental hazards such as inclement weather, zero gravity. When dealing damage to a target, have the uh, disable or pierce piece of gear rather than dealing wounds or strain gain critical injury or deal critical injury gain plus one melee to gain plus one may gain plus one to melee or range defense until the end of the active character's next turn force the target to drop or move to drop melee or ranged weapon if it's wielding so those are the examples of like the level of shit that the triumphs do. Mm -hmm. So like four fucking triumphs. I would definitely say that dude face planning and just not seeing him is yeah perfect. I still have to roll him.
You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to dig out the Gamorrean sheet. Give me a second. That would be in this box here. Nope, that's Force and Destiny. Laptop has the book. Oh, wait a second. They're in this What tells me all the droids, stats, and stuff, and the Gamorians. I totally. These are player sheets. Oh, I printed off. Ranged wet. Oh, I already have those printed off. Nice. So I don't have to go into the book. I already got them. All right. Stats and starship skills. Talks about the dice. He just passed out. He tired baby. I don't need the starship shit. I don't. Okay, no, this is weapons and shit as well. All right. I'm just looking for the Gamorrean stats and what dice I need for them. It'd probably be easier just to use the tablet. Oh, here they are right here. So it's their dice pools are two green and one purple. All right. Makes life easy. Has anything happened yet? I've been dealing with shithead kids. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm... No, you're good. I'm just, I didn't want to miss nothing. Not, not 100% organized. Thought I was, and I'm, turns out I'm not. This is for their attack. So, where do I go? to roll dice for the Gamorians here. Uh, if you're rolling it on roll 20, you can go to the GM rolls uh, character sheet. Yeah, that's what I'm on. GM. Now it's... And then just set the dice at top up top to whatever they're supposed to have for that. Oh, roll. yes. Because it's got me on the Dungeons and Dragons dice. Yeah, yeah just... GM one, and then at the top of the character sheet, it has all the dice. You just set it to whatever you need it to. GM. Advanced dice roller. It doesn't show any of the Star Wars dice. What the fuck? No, no, no. Hash, go to the character sheets, man. Character it, sheets? Yep, go to the character sheets. There's a character sheet, it's called no, GM that's Rolls. Not me. That's this. GM Rolls, there we go. And then at the top of that character sheet, there's all the dice. You just set them to whatever dice numbers they're supposed to be. Two, two green, one purple. Alright, so. Why did you move him? Gamorians. No. no. Oh, what's the matter, buddy? Mom woke him up. Why did she do that? She tried to to move him a little bit. Because he was folded in half. <laughs> uh, he, they'll sleep in any position they are. As long as they're breathing, they can leave him alone. Okay, I got two and one. There's going to be four of them. Now, how do I... Play?
it messages to me. Mm -hmm. I thought we had this all done already. What, what, what are you trying to do, Hash? I'm trying to roll for the Gamorreans. What, what did they... I not do this and just roll it by hand? Is that what I did last time? Look, I just rolled one for you. You just click the dice thing right in the middle. So you, you've, you've set the dice already. Now you just click that dice button right in the middle and it'll roll it. Alright, so that Gamorrean failed. I guess he'd be the one that would fucking trip and fall and not notice. No, I got. Is that going to be for? Do I do one roll for all of them, or do I roll That's up to one you. roll? Ah, fuck! They're stupid, those Gamorians. I'll do the one roll and save the time and effort to get the game going. <laughs> so, okay. luckily, none of you guys were seen. All right. Uh, the guy shoots. Uh, the ye walk five credits for the lap dance, and away we go. All right. Now that you've made it successfully through that encounter, which doesn't mean they're not still looking for you. So if you leave the cantina, you can still run into them. Keep that in mind. Okay. Moments after you hide yourself, a small troop of pig-like Gamorians carrying heavy bone breaking clubs and a battle axes and blasters they step through the door they're Timo's enforcers they blink with their beady little eyes in the gloom peering about then seeing nothing of interest they grunt and whine in their primitive language and turn and go you know they'll keep looking for you until you take them out with their backs turned this is the perfect moment to strike You guys, you guys want to fucking fight them, or you want to just let them walk out? No, I can do I'm in the middle of a lap dance. I'd like to finish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're you're giving the lap dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Got, yeah, I'm, I'm working. You got five credits for that. Yeah. Oh, did I really? Yeah, he oh, yeah. he gave you five credits for that lap dance. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> Family, uh, you did great. <laughs> <laughs> This little furry ass. Hey man, if if what we're doing well, now is not what you want. Imperial credits and imperial credits are worth nothing out here, but you know. Oh damn. <laughs> he said, "Fuck you." Said you scoundrels, man. All right, I'm gonna. I I assume I don't see, so I'm gonna just continue hiding in this fucking back room. I'm in a closet, so I know I don't see. Well, I could heal though. I got like my what was it? Some wheeled thing. Was it in my skill? How many people we have in the party? Four, right? Three. Three? Yeah. Okay. Three. So there's only three. so there's only three Gamorians then. My bad. Yeah, it would have so, been four, but you know, Jen, Jen, Jen backed out. Oogie's backed out. Everything. Like, yeah, yeah. I'll play. Get me all hyped. I spend all this money. And Radio wave up. communication. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. All right. Um. Hash, I don't think any of us did anything. I think we all just continued hiding, so. I'm okay. hiding. I have a knife. What am I going to do with a knife? <laughs> Shank him in the neck. <laughs> well, as they I'm turn gonna... their backs and walk up the stairs, they're standing just outside the cantina with their backs to you, trying to figure out which direction they're going to go from there to go look for you. Is it day or night? It's daytime. I'm gonna say late, late afternoon. Okay. I was gonna say if it's night, I'd I'd be more tempted to go after them. Just because like nobody would really see it then. Yeah. I, I feel like I come out from backstage at this point, and I see our Ewok giving a lap dance to some random guy, and then I see our bug man just kind of standing in front of the closet door. <laughs> <laughs> I am one with the closet. He's playing your character for this session. Yeah, and I'm just like, D uh, what, what are you, uh, why are you in front of a door? 
I am one with the closet. They didn't see me, so I am one with the closet. It's like I blend in well. It's like you should just come backstage with me, and I think we should wait it out a little bit. Give it some time for them to leave. Okay. Uh, is that out? Is that out? Ewok giving a lap dance? Yeah, ab absolutely. That is that is <laughs> definitely that is what you're seeing. That yeah. is definitely K Ray. <laughs> <laughs> hey Ray is definitely giving a lap dance right now. I just noticed how tall this bug guy is. I don't remember how tall Sir Tick Tick is. He's six feet tall. Six I don't know how they tall. didn't see him. <laughs> how tall? I mean, I'm six feet tall too. How tall are you? Come <laughs> on, can be from fucking six foot to eight foot. So yeah. Yeah, so I I grab Zertik Tick and I say we should just go hide in the back for a little bit. All right, let's go. <laughs> Dude, imagine if they did languages in this. This would just be a horrible uh, game K at that K point. Ray, do you continue to give more lap dances? Yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick, guys. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> K Ray has found a oh. new job. Yeah. But that'll settle things down enough. Five credits a dance can't beat that. I mean, onto new career path, <laughs> dance all, <laughs> entertain all. I'm two feet tall, so I don't know what the fuck I was doing, just rubbing my chest on this motherfucker or what. But uh, I was sure as fucking not using my ass. Rubbing against his shin a little bit, maybe I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I just almost spit coffee everywhere. Because <laughs> we're like, oh yeah, we're both six feet tall. And he's like, I don't know the fuck I was, and I'm two feet tall. <laughs> you were rubbing his legs. I, I guess I don't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> You just clawed up on his lap and he started petting you like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God. Jesus Christ. Alright, oh. that already started out wonderful. I <laughs> love it. Alright, took us two hours to get five minutes of gameplay, but we got that, we got it going, guys. <laughs> yeah, we're still in the <sighs> Heather. Me and Heather ran this scenario already, so I, I'm kind of going to like sit back a little bit to let you guys push the oh, action because I already is know Is this where. a module? Yeah, this is a module. Okay. I'm about to say, go ham. Well, Gotta go Ash ham. Ash had an hour-long computer update and then his Discord wasn't working. So I think we only started actually like, what, 15, 20 minutes ago? Yeah. But Damien yeah. is making a clone for his character. Uh, there, there's the upside to it. Oh, yeah, there, Damien there's the upside. We, we got <clears throat> Damien's character started. I How close are you to being done, Damien? Oh, I just got a. I have like 85 more experience points to go, and then I have to buy my equipment. So like an hour and a half still of <laughs> putting points in and taking them back out and. Changing your I'll mind. Just in. I'll, just, I'll just hold it. I was like, you know what? That's what I picked. That's what's gonna happen. You might as well like go do. fill in the character sheet blanks. Like you got a bunch of blanks on your character info right now while we wait. Cause hash maybe two minutes. He might be ten minutes. He did say he's got that uh, yeah. poop problem. Yeah. So so it depends on which type of bathroom he had to go do. Clone. There you go. Side species clone reject. It's it's crazy eyes by uh, Scotty. K Razy eyes, e ease. I, oh, I, it's, wow. it's crazy because of the because I can't blow it up, but it's it's because of the. No, it's fine. I stop. It's a fucking Ewok. I already know. Yeah, it's it's the. <laughs> How many credits do we start with? There you go. It's the. Sixteen <clears throat> hundred. <laughs> All right. Mm. Like where it asks for like the age, height, build, hair, and eyes. Under eyes, I put beady. <laughs> I didn't give it a color. I can't pick any of that. 
It's gonna be ba it's gonna only be selected for me. Yeah, My you're, and all you're that. a clone. <laughs> yeah, I'm a clone. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I'll give him a clone name, you know, I'm gonna start googling clone name. DB dash one two three four. Something like that. But then I'm gonna give him the nickname. Don't you worry. I'm gonna background the shit out of this. Yeah. I'll have a paragraph into it, and then I'll just be like, ah, I don't want this character Damien, anymore. Damien, what was your career again? <laughs> uh, Demolitionist, wasn't it that? Oh. Uh, it was hired, a hired, hired gun, gun, and then specialization was Demolitionist. Yeah. <clears throat> nah, I'm... I'm... I'm not gonna change it then if it's if it's just the fucking a module. If it was like a homebrew shit, I, I would've. Nah, don't don't worry about it. it. Little no. Uh, he was talking about possibly changing some. Oh, hired gun. And then what would the special the special the 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 uh, you're a clone. You're a female clone. Oh. <laughs> I am a female clone. <laughs> Wait, what? Somehow, some whale. Uh, yeah, we we took out some chromosomes and added in some different chromosomes. <laughs> well, if you watch the Clone Wars, they have the uh, it's not a female clone, but they have the rejects, which are all really different clones. <laughs> and they really. said that, new, that person was new at genetics. They messed up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I just that's keep actually... picturing fucking that's... Ratchet and Clank, where Clank comes off an assembly line, just not like the others. He's the <laughs> defect. Yeah, he's a defect. You know, that's, cool. that's the, actually that's the one class uh, species I, did. I didn't see in the species tree. So. Is the species that made the clones? Yeah, like I said, there's there's definitely. So the on that species list is the official races that were released in the books. Yeah. Right? And in each book there was like four or five races added. And then okay. you can download the book that can has all the races. Which I did. Yeah. It's, it's in the trove. Okay. Sandy five hundred's got all the races. Alright, hash, so Crazy Eyes is giving more lap dances, and, uh... Oh, you didn't holler at me to come back here with you? <laughs> Fuck no, I let you out mm. there! Mm. <laughs> Everybody wants to see a little teddy bear shake the fuzz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with those... <laughs> you can make it in the laptop with those eyes staring at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, hash. Two of us are backstage, and uh, Crazy Eyes is giving more lap dances. Yeah. Okay. Well, when you guys are ready to leave the cantina, say so. You guys say like an hour later. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, an hour oh, later, we go and slowly peek through the front door. All right, you see the three Gamorians standing there with your with their backs to you. Oh, God damn it! And batting. I slowly shut the door and ask them what they want to do. Fucking. I'm just like, uh, you know, these uh, three assholes are still just standing out there. What you, yeah, uh... keeping an eye out. <laughs> oh, I kind of wish I had that clone now. I just toss a grenade at them. I guess just, uh, on the count of three, we attack? I have to get close. That's fine. Uh, <sighs> but would I have to, would I have to roll stealth to get it up close? Uh, probably not. I mean, it's a surprise. Well, there's, there's yeah. no door to the entrance. It's just, like, a an opening. The door is at the bottom of the stairs, so... Oh. But if he go peeks through the door, then he can see at the top of the stairs. The Gamorians are standing there with their backs to the entrance, and they're pointing and talking and trying to figure out where you guys are. Am I the only one with a melee weapon, by the yes, way? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so I 
guess I I turn to crazy eyes and I'm like, on three we shoot the left and right one. You shoot left, I'll shoot right. Yeah. By any yeah, chance, right. is there a pathway going above the, the doorway so I can just drop on them? I don't know. Hash, what is what is the range? Short, medium, long? Short. Short. Okay. The stairways, you know, five or six stairs. Yep. All right. So Brian, one purple for range. Um, Hash, is there any? Do they have any armor? Like, uh, is there any just armor? your typical Korean armor? Nothing specific. Uh. Would it be like added almost? So no, no um. Oh shit! What's it called? No best guard. Item inventory. No, no oh, defense wow, rating. Into my fucking account. Good second. I'm hey Brian, leave disc. I, I just looked at on the phone for a second. Uh, what's what's the rarity of your weapon, Brian? Two, I think. So that gives you... Yeah, it's a two. One purple. Okay. I just had to make sure so I could add in the... What it was supposed to automatically roll with it. Okay, oh. so I'm still adding that one purple with... Um... Yeah, so the, the one purple you're adding is for the range. Okay, And then your gotcha. weapon is always going to have one purple so I got for... That out of the for the rarity. Gotcha. Okay, and then I can roll now, right? Do I? Where the fuck do I? Now I'm plugging the phone in because it's yeah. almost dead. Just, just roll. Whenever he, whenever he's good, he'll see what we rolled. So those are we tiled clone people, too. Which shit? Okay. No, no, that's that's dead ass even, yeah. Yeah, that's dead ass even for you. Hey, uh, hey, Brian, look at the one right above you. Yeah, you, you happy with yourself there? Yeah, absolutely, I am. <laughs> God I am damn. Absolutely happy with that. Why is that not adding into mine? Oh, because I put it in features instead of qualities. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what it does. Yeah, no, you're good. you're good. It's it actually it's better that it's in qualities. Cause I was like, wait, I didn't know what was stun setting. I have stun settings too. <laughs> Hash, whenever you're ready, we we rolled our attacks. Did roll your attacks? Yeah, we we rolled our attacks. Donald, <laughs> because they're back in second. Oh yeah, does he get a? Do we get a boost dice for that? Yeah. All right, hey you Brian. The friends, they don't know this. Brian, go add a go roll a blue. They're getting shot in the back and everything. I no, that's not what was supposed to roll. So yeah. it's dead. Uh, uh, blue. Need to do a total of nine damage. Yep. Okay. So, Hash, this is this is the results. I did. Who shot first? Are you doing it at the same time? Same, same time. Okay. Hideous. So I did four successes and two advantages. And crazy eyes broke even and two advantages. Okay. So the yellow is the yellow die for damage. The successes. So I do. Minus their soak, I do 9, 10, 11. I did 11 damage. But he's plus his 3. Yeah, he's dead. And then Crazy Eyes doesn't do damage, but he gets two advantages. So he could... I guess, Brian, it's up to you what you want to do with those two advantages since you're not going to hit. You could put mine or yours... So, things you can do with that advantage, right, Brian? You can take... You can get rid of both of your strain. 
That's what you can do with those advantages. So, let's do that. That's what I'm gonna do with mine too, Hash. What's that? I'm gonna use my two advantages that I got on that to get rid of my strain. Okay. You can also give yourself two strain to perform a second maneuver. Yeah, I just, I wanna get rid of my strain. But, hiding out for an hour, would you would recover from that after okay. running in the desert for a couple hours. So, okay. I forgot to say that, my bad. So, oh, we, we got uh, it all. Three. So, I guess I'll use my advantage dice uh, to add two blue dice to the next ally that rolls. Okay. Brian, you can do whatever you want with yours. But that's what are my options? Um, so with two, perform an immediate free maneuver that does not exceed two maneuver limit per turn. Or you can add a black dice to the next character's check or add a blue dice to the next ally's check. So I guess one that blue includes... dice from me to somebody else. So I can add a black to their shit. Yeah, you can add a black to their to their next one. Okay, so you buffed Damien. I'll I'll black the. I don't like that. I'll uh give him disadvantage. I don't know. I'm gonna, yeah, give him a black dice. The the uh Delorean. De, de more, uh, yep. <clears throat> bad guy. Bad guys. All right. So Damien, when no you go, Damien. you have a blue dice <laughs> to add to your pool. Okay, so I I am now short range from them, so I have to make that distance to them. Yeah. So you gotta you gotta close the gap. There's two of them, right? Yeah, because uh, someone missed. So, <laughs> technically, you guys are still shooting, because we're all moving at the same time, right? Yeah. So, now I'm moving towards them. So, what would I have to do for that? Uh, so, you use your maneuver, your movement, to get from close range to engaged. Yep, and, and then, then I would attack. And then you have your action, yeah. Okay, how do I do that? Alright, so you basically declare you're going to use an attack. I'm going to use my only weapon I have, which is my knife. Okay, uh, Hash, what is, for him in engaged range, what is his negatives? I would just leave it at the one purple die. Okay. So at the top of your dice pool, give yourself a blue and a purple, and then roll your melee. All right, I have the two pills thing and the one bit all thing too. Yep. Do vicious. I have to do anything for those? Nope. <clears throat> okay. Now my other question is, how do I? Oh, I hit the little dice next to my. Yeah. So melee, you'll, you'll do the you'll do the weapon dice. Yeah. Okay. I need to have one blue. One blue and one purple up in your dice pool up top. And then scroll down to your weapon and roll your weapon. Boom. So success and two advantages. Oh, that's a critical! Is it? Yeah, you, you have a critical of two. So two advantages gives you a critical. Okay, so what do I do with a critical? Uh, Shit, hold on. I'm not used to the fucking criticals popping up. Is there anything for critical? Yeah. Neither am I. I haven't done this. Do you realize it's been a year since we've done this? Yeah, I know. That was like the most anticlimactic critical. It's like rolling a 20 and be like, yay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. You know what? There is a version of this. It's not done by Fantasy Flight. I forget who it's done by, and I might use theirs because they use regular dice and they use like the similar. Uh, uh, Armor and stuff like that is uh, second edition Dungeons and Dragons. Well, that's about how old it is too. Second edition. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, that's how old I am. I've, I've played first and second edition. I, was I am probably the youngest out of everyone. I, my mine is five e. As as yeah. yeah. All right, hold on. I'm I'm just getting to the fucking critical table. I've usually been a player. I'm not usually a DM, but I figured I'd give the Star Wars right. thing a try. I need to do more reading. Hash. I really do. So yes. for the critical, 
you're going to roll a D100. And then it's going to get plus 10 because of his vicious. I'm rolling it like he have a D100 here. There's no D100 in the mix. Yeah, it's on your. It's on the the D the. Yep. So the screen. The... It's gonna be the little die on your left side of the screen, where like the little mouse is, the little paintbrush, magnifying glass, all that. Yeah, but in in the beginner game itself. No, that's they don't that... include like it. Well, they fucked up because there's a there is a D100 chart that you roll on for critical injuries. Oh really? Where's the chart? Uh, of the Edge of the Empire core rulebook, it's page 217. I'm looking 17? at the chart. Yeah, I'm looking at oh, the chart right now. That, that, fine. I just, I want to see it. That's all. Fucking done a little bit more research than me. Why don't they include this D100 with the fucking beginner game? I don't know. Oh, if he fails uh, the D100... He goes crippled. You don't have to roll the D100. It's got to roll three dice. Each time a character suffers, suffers a critical injury, the player rolls a D100 on the, t on the table 6 through 10. Critical injury right. results. You roll a D100. Let's see what he does. What is it, like a hundred things that it can pick from? No. Oh, no. Nah. Different thresholds. Different thresholds, yeah. Alright. Damien, just roll a hundred. We'll, we'll go off your roll. A hundred plus ten. If you guys are interested, you can go to the Trove, download adventures and rule books and shit in PDF format. Oh, you just like a lot that, that one, the D100, and then just add 10 to, to it? Yeah, just, yep. just roll D100, and then we add 10. So, 53? Yep. Alright, so this guy gets a fierce yeah, wound. The target increases the difficulty of all presence and willpower checks by one until the end of the encounter. What I do to him? So, the guy that he attacked, this is what happens to him. He takes yep. two damage, and then he gets that applied to him. Oh. So, okay. Oh, he gets decrease of one for his willpower checks and present checks? Uh, is that how that works? No, so he'll, uh, every every time he does a presence or willpower check, he will have to roll an extra purple. Like, for us, they All usually right. suck, yeah. but for the bad guys, sometimes it's just like, oh, okay. Like that one, it's just like, uh, alright. If you quit, you don't you don't attack again. No. You're gonna hold no, that. They usually give him a critical. Yeah. But now... How do you double attack? Is that a thing? Mm, I don't know. Like, could I do wield knives? Could I have two pistol blastoles? Like, yeah, you can do a wield. Why the hell do I not have a no knife? What is this? <laughs> I don't know. You could have bought a fucking sword and used that. I'm using one of the pre-made. So what? Could I stab them and punch them? <laughs> Could have, yeah. I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna punch and then stab. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the damage is for punching, though. It's probably one. Or it's probably, yeah, it's probably zero, so you gotta get multiple successes that do actual damage. Yeah. And I know, I know for sure punching goes to, uh, um, strain. Oh, it does. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I'm on it. We don't need that. All right, hash. It's uh, it's their turn, I guess. 
I'm going to say the one is stunned. The other one turns around. He's not stunned. He's going to hit the closest target, which is... <laughs> that asshole we sent up into melee. <laughs> oh. Then for their attack, roll two greens and a gold, or yellow. Oh. Am I about to get fucked? Where did it go here? No. Hey, uh, do you have any armor on, Damien? I don't Is that know. the the soak? No, I have not two so soak. Defensive rating. Oh. Look at your um. Defense. Item item inventory. I'm scared. <laughs> you have oh. zero armor on. <laughs> I have a backpack. Okay. Can I just flip that backpack to my chest and just be like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> One D4 plus four, okay. That's a punch. Hell yeah. In, uh, but I take in, one, in I take... <laughs> Alright. Or strength, I didn't mean fucking four, fuck. It's my falcon punch. There it is. <clears throat> It transfers. How do I roll this now? I got dice pool set up. Uh, right, right below on the di on the dice pool itself, there's a little dice icon. Did I roll it. Nope. Nope. That was the first dice. That's the best one. Yeah, wrong ones. There's some false going on here. Weren't we supposed to roll those? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Who okay. Next? Extra, we're we're playing the simple version right now. Okay. Destiny points. That's an all we've so not hash, doing. Hash in the middle of the dice pool, bottom row. There's two buttons. The left one is the dice. Yeah, that right there. Got you got it. Oh, I got hit okay. and die. What do you hit me with? A blast or That's the one me? that's closest to you. Also has. I have to go through the. Uh, have to use the purple with him. Mm -hmm. So, Hash, what is the damage on the weapon? Damage on the weapon. It's just a basic uh, ranged engaged weapon. It's five. Five? So you took six damage, Damien. Oh, what the fuck? Six wounds. Well, he has his, uh, his soak as well. Yeah, minus, minus whatever your soak is. I have two soak, so I take four, four two wounds. Holy shit. Dude, I'm gonna die in the fullest five minutes of this game. It's okay, your Ewok killer is here. I gotcha. <laughs> you were <laughs> fucking shitting, dude. You can die in that first thing. Like, <laughs> yeah. there ain't no... Holy shit, this is worse than level one, bro. Why did- wait, is, is this the pre-made or did Heather make this character? This is Heather's character. Why did she make this character? <laughs> she has no armor. She has a backpack, though. I don't- Cause this was- this is like- She didn't build it for combat. Oh. So is this pretty much what her other character in D&D is almost like, but the other one has ranged attacks? Um, no. Sleek, she takes damage in the other one a lot. Yeah, she does. But she can cause damage too. She blows God. up in a giant fireball and it hits me every too? time. Hash. Probably me. The second one attacked him. Is that totally. Nobody's me? going to uh, interrupt by making a second shot at the other guy yet? Can, can we? Yeah. Okay. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, I will you... blast that motherfucker into next week. What's my dice pool? Or what's my extra on my dice pool? If you, well, it would be what? Three green? Purple? No, it... what's, what's my negatives? Because I, I know what my personal dice pool is. I'm not, we're Ignore just going to go with that. Ignore that. That was, that was a blue. Okay. All right. Uh, give me one second. Combat. I'm gonna shoot this motherfucker and save your life. Oh my god, I blew his fucking head off. 
Yo. Yeah, so this is this axe comes down and is about to hit you. Yo, I did. This corpse just drops. I did nine damage plus a critical. Yeah. <clears throat> so, it's just one left standing in front of you. Is anybody else going to take another shot? What do I What do I take for that? I take two strain to it. What's oh, the... no, it's your turn now because I'll add I'll add the two strain to Scott for that one because he just saved your character's life. That's fine. So it's our turn now. Yeah, yeah it's, it's your turn off. now. Yeah. Okay, I don't know how to do this. You're gonna have to fucking walk me through. Um, okay. I'm gonna use a stem pack. Actually, I will use my med pack, which is a fucking stem pack for free. Okay. So um, you gotta use. I don't... Is, are you using it on uh, Zertic, Damien? Yeah, I'll use it on Allergy Boy over here. That's what it is. I don't know what. I don't okay. know what I'm rolling. Am I? So, do I roll a medicine check for that? Yeah, so or no, no. Nope, you... nope, I'll, I'll have you give it to him. I'm off to the side. And I'll let Scott use your turn to shoot again. So it's Ryan, how it, how it's supposed to be by by the by the rules on this one, Hash. Um, Brian would have to use his movement, his maneuver to get up there, and then he would use his action and perform a medicine check without penalty, and add a blue dice to your medicine check. So, one blue plus your medicine check. Whatever successes you get is how much health you would heal on him. Now, if you want to if you want to do it different than that hash, that's that's fine. That's just No, oh, that's fine. That's that's fine. That's, that works for me. Yeah, that's exact that's just how it's uh All right. So, I just add one blue, yeah? Uh, yeah. I should have got more chips, Ma. Well, how much health do I get? <laughs> All of it. You just you just heal forty points. So that's you were just healed uh, for the rest of the campaign. Two You're welcome. Wounds and four strain. Well, I got two wounds taken away. Yeah, and four strain. If you had any strain, I don't have any strain. So, but yeah, that, oh, that's how it works. I got healed. Hold on. Okay, so. When making a medicine check to help a character heal wounds, the target heals one additional wound per rank of physician. I have one extra, so he heals one on top of that? Yeah. Oh, I get and then, three back. Yeah. Okay, and then you heal two extra strain if you... <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, I'm liking this. Alright. We're getting there, we're getting there. See, I'm gonna like mine, because he's built to actually still fight. But he can also do what this one's going to be able to do. I like it. I like it. <clears throat> I wish I had the clone, because I would have been like, okay, grenade. <laughs> Just blow up the entrance. Like, nah, fuck this place. We're, we're done here. We don't need, we don't need it here. I like that healing, though. That's going to be nice. That's the so, yeah. yeah. So could... That's better than... Conjuring a spell or taking a potion. What does uh, strain? You said punching somebody causes strain, right? Is there any other abilities that do strain? I'm sure there are. Like our stun settings on our guns cause strain mm. instead of wound. Oh, okay. But it's it's like we declare, hey, I'm gonna use the stun instead of the regular before you shoot. So if gotcha. we max out strain, do we just pass out? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like a non-lethal damage in D and D. Okay. Is there anything where I can take half damage? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, barbarian. <laughs> More soap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said Loki, can I be a barbarian? All right, Hash. So I shot to save him at the cost of strain. Do I still have my regular turn? No, it is. Yeah. The Wookiees are barbarians. You said yes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a Wookiee. So if I still have my regular turn. I'm going to go ahead. I'm gonna look it up real quick. Shoot this guy. 
Wookie, Wookie, Wookie. That's what I was gonna do. If they didn't have Ewok, I was just gonna make a really short Wookie. Yeah, I didn't download. Yeah, the Wookies have 14 wounds. Plus old, and then they have 8 willpower. But yeah, if if wounded, deal 1 extra damage to brawl and melee attacks. If critical injured, injured deal plus 2 to brawl and melee attacks. <laughs> but you have so, so you like... The more you get hold, the, the better you just hit punch people. Alright. And like, back. hit them with uh, weapons. So I shoot this guy for 11? Alright, he's dead. Another court falls down to the ground. I think that's all of them. Now you're drawing it. Now you're drawing a crowd, the people are coming out of the bar looking like, holy fuck, those are Timo's guys. You guys just killed Timo's guys. They almost killed me. What do you guys want to do? Almost killed me. So now, last guy. <laughs> in order to get off planet, you have to acquire a ship. We, can we loot these guys that we just killed? Yeah, is, is there any loot? Yeah. Is there a gun uh, on one of them? The standard, you know, there's a handful of credits and there's their battle axes. Nothing of real value. Is there anything I can use that's not a knife? I mean, <laughs> one of their battle axes. Oh, that's gonna take long to add to this. Is a battle axe hit better than a knife? I have to ask that. At the know. end of each encounter, PCs have a chance to recover strain. Each PC recovers strain equal to his present score for his ranks in the cool skill, whichever is greater. Ooh, sick. All right, I'm regaining two, two strain. Uh, yes, the battle axes are better... Damage wise than your knife, but lower or harder to crit with. And no pierce. So. Damien. You can't nat one on here. You can't nat one? No, no, nat ones are blanks. Aw. Oh. I mean, it's less hurtful in here. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know. Millions are. Silence that follows is broken by a slow, amused applause. The Vorian bartender approaches and laughs. Riddle little laugh. I guess you folks need to get off the planet in a hurry. Good news for you is that I happen to know that there's a freighter in the landing bay era right now. The bad news is it's Captain Strex an associate of the huts and won't just let you on the other bad news is that reason i know it's still in the landing bay is that it has a broken hypermatter reactor igniter it won't be flying anywhere until it gets a new one installed that, that means funny? shop has one and he points to the the, the door at the cantina he points away from, you know, like he's pointing towards, you know, it's time to go. I don't want you to drop any more, uh, draw any more attention. Did you say the junk shop had that part? Yes. Okay. I have a, I have a rank two in mechanics. Can you, can you fuck with that, Scotty, or are you just a pilot? I'm pilot. I, he's a mechanic, though. I can fuck with that. Oh, I got, go. I got rank two in me mechanics. Yeah, let's go, let's do it. <laughs> I'll, I'll... Had, the, had the Gamorreans finished him, the bartender would have given him a free stem pack, just to let you know. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, and I have level I'm 2 in computers. This is cool, I'm like. Wait a minute, what'd you say? He said the, uh, they would, the bartender would have gave me a stem pack if I got dropped. Oh, it's alright. That med pack that I bought was, it's a, every encounter, I get a free stim pack, so it's all right. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. But you didn't even actually use a stim pack. Basically, no. All right. I know yeah, I got I've... five on hand. 
just in case. Yep. Whopping, whopping ten. Well, I got yeah, a, better give me a free a fucking stamp pack. It cost no. me four hundred, four hundred credits. Oh, <clears> yeah. <throat> I got rank one in perception too. I don't know what what's a beat. Oh. All right. Oh. Sorry, what I miss? What is talking? Uh, he was talking about his med pack, which is pretty badass, actually. Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing? We going to the junkyard, and then we're gonna go try to install that part. All the. Uh, yeah. Shit, do I'll do what I do best, and I'll rub my ass on the. Uh, some uh, some motherfuckers while you install that. Did he say which landing bay? If it was. Best How many or are there? Art? Basically, left or right. <laughs> All right. The right. Okay. No, it's not to the right. The left. It's the map. How do I go back to the map? I close this. Oh wait, which line of is it? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> there we go. Scotty answer. Why is mine black? So the junkyard on the map. will have to go. So we move the all these guys. Street. Can I change my? Around to the right. It is to the right. Okay. Once you leave the cantina. I can't move my guy. Really? Yeah, it won't let me click on anything. I can click your guys's, but it won't let me click mine. I get you. Oh, all right. I see it. I see why it's not. Don't worry. Shit, stop. Oh, Try now. Stop. Hey, I can move. Yeah. All right. Uh, so he said we gotta go to the junkyard to get some parts, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh. So let's. Uh, how do we want to go there? Do -backs. Do we want to go through the main road, or do we want to fucking like sneak up these alleys? Yeah, we can we can sneak up the alley. Hell yeah, let's. Uh, you want to go this way, or you want to go the other way? Um, I I would say up up here. Yeah, that looks like the. All right, hash. That's that's the path we're taking. Up and around. Okay. Yep, we're gonna go up here. Up here, and then wherever the entrance is to the junk shop. Been a long way for a shortcut, eh? Well, this way leads us, unless unless this is the door right here. I don't want to log back in. What the fuck? Why is it Discord making me? Oh, you're still here. I wouldn't even touch it. I wouldn't touch it because you're still sitting in the Discord. Okay, okay. okay bro, don't fix it. Oh, it's it wants me to re-log in. Don't touch it. Just, you're fine. You're sitting in it. You're good. <laughs> Don't touch it. Don't touch the login thing. It's the, uh, shopkeeper, one of those flying motherfuckers. I don't even, I don't... Well, I'm not yeah, yeah, sorry. What's up? You got... I forget the name of that race, but no. Okay. It's human. 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 All right. Wookie, wookie, wookie. Oh, that one All right. Um, I might drop out of the chat now. Didn't click on it, but it disappeared. Yep. Um, you're good. We still hear you. So why are these guys after us? I'm sorry. It's I know they're Timo's people, but. I think it said like we owe a bounty or we owe money to Timo or we're rogues in the area. You can suck my fuzzy dick. He ain't getting nothing from me. Hash, what, what's the reason Timo's after us again? Maybe he did drop out. Hash, you hear us? That's all right. So the uh, basically we're still playing, and that NPCs right there is just standing still like a robot, so we can grab the part and run, right? <laughs> is that what that means? Yeah. No. <laughs> Hash, what happened? So are any of your characters mechanically inclined to know what you're looking for? Oh, there we go. Uh, if you saw it. Yeah, the, I'm uh, a I'm a I'm a mechanic and I'm computers and all that. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I take mine. Jump stop is immediately obviously by the scrapyard. 
adjoining to the low, low stone building. As you step inside, you see a hunched old man, male, looking, lurking behind a low counter, covered with dismembered droids, disassembled droids, machine parts. And glances up at you and turns to the garbage can shaped R5 unit standing at his side. Kicks the droid and freaks. You're supposed to tell me when I have customers. Bucket of bolts. Go outside and finish that speeder bike wreck. Droid tundles off with a slurry. And man turns to you and says, welcome customers. As you can see, he points out to the racks, the shelves. Numerous buckets full of scrap metal and parts. I have anything you could want for the right price. That's a, I think that's on our mechanic to uh, talk shop. I don't even remember what the fault it was called. I couldn't even... Need a hypermatter reactor igniter. Hypermatter reactor igniter. Yes. Can I, uh... Can I search the... He says, I only have one, and it's already promised to Captain Trex, the Krite Fang. Well, we will sent here by Captain Rex to uh, retrieve it, and I am supposed to install it into his ship. You're going to his... lie? I don't know. <laughs> Hey, Give me I'm a second a, here. I'm a mechanic. I can do that. This. You got a roll. To, it's a two purple and a red. Oh no! I don't know. Why'd you make me do this, Scotty? <laughs> a red is a mechanic. Oh, so, sorry, it's one purple and one red. Lying to Vorn. It's possible. What the fuck's a red? A twelve? What do I roll for yeah. that? Yeah, it's a D twelve. Holy shit! What do I roll for that? Wait, just a second. I roll that lying to Vorn is possible. If the PCs choose the opposition, they'll have Section. to choose one PC to make an opposed deceit check versus Dorn's discipline. Okay, Dorn's discipline is the one purple, one red. So I got to roll that for him. What do I roll? Your deception, I imagine. And I'm rolling that with the purple yeah. and red, or no? Well, oh, that's me. You have to do the green and purple. So oh, I just want to have one on the purple, and then I will. Oh, he... I think he already rolled that, man. Guys, I don't see the rolls. We can't re see your roll if if. No, he didn't roll. Yeah, I know. I didn't okay. roll it yet, but you guys have enough okay. money you can offer more than what the part's worth. How oh, much is it? Yeah, I don't know how much money I have and all that, so yeah, I'm a little off on this one. Like, they are gonna have to work with me. Can I can I ask him how much that part's worth? Just, just give me a second. I'm trying to find it again because this is what we okay. did last time. Where the hell is it? Time. It tells me how to do the checks. Wait, I don't. The I don't. Is beat up old YT thirteen hundred light freighter and ship if you can keep it running. Oh. I think I shot him in the leg and took it last time. <laughs> I wanted to make it different. More than what the part was worth. I like my money, though. Oh, I want to keep my money. I need to get a gun. Uh, how much is it worth, Ash? Just trying to find it. Like, you're the DM. You can make it whatever you want. I'm going to play oh, fucking... D and D Bardi walk, man. Just start fucking rubbing on everybody. <laughs> hey man, turn that lamp on for me, man. Thank you. I'm not cunning though. That wouldn't get, let me because it's gonna be like deception. If I was gonna lie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not cunning at all. That would have that would have been real bad. Okay. We present tracks he sent us to buy. Blah, blah, blah. We wouldn't want. What do you send the droid to go do? Fix the speeder bike or clean up oh, the speeder bike I'll wreck. Give us the part. So going to fix if you it? threaten him, then you gotta fight him. Can I offer to help him? 
in exchange for the vault. Just a sec, I'm going over the scenarios here, but oh, okay. Hey. Part price of the part is six hundred credits. I ain't got that kind of money. <sighs> I gotta see Jesus how many credits Christ. I got. <laughs> Probably not that much. I think I've got enough. I got four thirty-five. <clears throat> I don't know how you X five. I don't know what X five is, but X five. Uh, is that five uh, if they negotiate a good price, Vorn asks for six hundred credits. If you go that route. Hey, uh, little Ewok man, you good at lying? Am I a good aligned? Is that what you ask me? Are you, Are you is lying? your cunning good? Are you good at lying? Is your deception up there? I've got three, uh, I don't have any points in it, but I got, I got three green die. <laughs> That's all I got. You might want to lie to him and tell him we're working for the guy. <laughs> okay. Can I, can I assist to help him in exchange for the pole? Is he having any troubles fixing Can I, uh, is there a fucking seduce in this? <laughs> seduce. <laughs> There's no sand. Uh, uh, uh. Don't think he's you in the trolls. Is there a cuteness kind of, kind of like a, a distraction? Is there a fucking distraction kind of thing? Just sit there. And... I'm not that familiar with the game to know it. Okay, so I can't like rub his leg and kind of purr a little bit and just look at him with my, yeah, <laughs> my death like, stare. Like, like what fucking what's his name was doing to uh, Han, and he's like, "Get off me, you little fuck!" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's charm there, uh, Brian. Yeah, it's charm. There's, there's a charm option. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, I'm, I only got two in that. No, I'm good. <clears throat> yeah, just lie your ass yeah. off to him. It's okay. Just try it. Okay. Yeah, can I, uh, can no, I tell him that we're working working for the bo the dude? I'm, I'm the mechanic. And I can show him, too, if he wants me to. I'm, I'm ready to see what these skills for mechanic is. Oh, he's, uh, going he's not interested. In, he's not interested in favors. It's credits or a line. Get out. A line. Yeah. So it's so, uh, credits uh, lying or shoot them. <laughs> what the? Or knock them out. That's a happy baby. If you guys can hear that. Yeah, I hear him. The noises sound similar to angry to happy. <laughs> Doesn't all Snipo have a stun setting on uh... Oh, that's intimidate or threat. Yeah, absolutely. Could you just stun him? No, blasters have a stun setting. Yeah, me, me and the Ewok can throw some stuns out. We're just but how loud is that? <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a fucking rifle. So yeah, the, can we, can we uh, set the blasters to stun? So Do you want you... more people off of you? I mean... They don't gotta know about it. Um... Switch you. He said he'd offer to help the... Help the droid. He said he, was looked, that, uh, he wasn't looking for favors. He's not in favors. I was not in favors. Edits or... Why? Picking the park up for Trex. Okay. Or you can offer um, to hurt him. I mean... You guys can, can team I, up. Uh... Pull together your credits. Can I, uh... I have no credits. Oh. So. Yeah, we're pretty broke. Can I, uh... Lie to him and say that we, uh... We work for the... The... Uh... Trek, is it what you said? Well, the boss man. Yeah, we work but, for the big boy. If you guys roll the dice and pass... Sell it okay. for 600 credits, and if you fail, he'll ask for 750. Oh, so he's not bought the part yet? No. Oh. Oh, he hasn't bought the part yet. Oh, okay, so even if we lie... Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe that's oh, why I shot him okay. last time. <laughs> that's, that sounds like the option here. I'm good. Yeah, let's, 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 uh... Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over to my little Ewok friend and bend all the way down. And I, <clears throat> I'm just like, hey, uh, give us, give us a second. <clears throat> we gotta talk about this. I come over and pull you guys in, I'm like... So, uh, I think we should shoot him with some stun, and just steal the parts from him. Yeah, you can punch him, right? That'll that'll do some strain, too. I was gonna say, we can do that. Oh, we this can lie to him even more. This old man is tougher man. than the fucking Gamorreans. I'm just giving you a heads up. Well, we can do that, or we can lie to him even more, and say the boss man says he'll pay him 
after we get the pot to see if the pot's good. All right, you you try that, Ewok, because you're the only okay. one. Okay. <laughs> even any decision. All right, I'm I'm gonna walk up to this guy and be like, uh, we're gonna. Not. We, we represent Trex. He sent us to buy the part from you. That's what you're going with. Uh, he uh he said we're gonna test out the part. We're gonna take the part back, put it in the ship, see if it works, and then we'll be back to pay you. With the old part. That's With the old part, yeah, we'll uh do a good old battery swap kind of thing at uh, mm -hmm. AutoZone. Want the core back? I got you. Give me a second here. I gotta do uh. Little improvise, improvising. Do the old auto zone swap. If this doesn't work. I need my Ewok to do the little blast all that Han does. He just go, Pah! <laughs> quick blast. Uh, okay. Uh, what, what's his counter roll to that? The two flats. Roll. I mean, it rolled a purple and a red, but what's his counter roll to it? Results are two of those. What the fuck does that mean now? Give me a second. You, like, you'd have to roll oh, yeah. Well, he's got to roll his, his green and a purple. I don't have any purples. No, roll, roll your... Uh... This is for the lie, right, Hash? Yeah. Yeah. Making Roll. an opposed check. Active character. When Three making seven. the check. In this case, a PC assembles his or her dice pool. Normally, the difficulty of the check is determined by the rival character dice pool. So just okay, so I rolled just... that. You can that. Yeah, roll, roll, your, just... roll your deception versus that. Just normal. No add, no nothing. Yeah, because yeah, that, that's what would have been added to it. Oh my god, you couldn't roll one success in there? Hey, I rolled two nat ones, man. This is this is roll 20 at its finest. <laughs> well, he got He's three like... advantages. What would that equal out to? Quit wasting my time. You either got the money or you don't. So the advantages don't help in this? Uh, I mean, they kept anything bad from happening. Yeah. Mmm. <clears throat> Well, he had two threats and then those three dam uh, advantages, so wouldn't that be one advantage at left oval? Yeah, that's that's why nothing bad happened for him lying oh. to him. Because essentially what, what that result ends up being is he knows he wasn't telling the truth, but because he got one advantage over threats, nothing bad happened from him being like, yeah, I know you're fucking lying to me. So, who's the mechanic in the group? I am. Make friends with the droid because you know he's mean to the droid, and the droid don't fucking like him. It's an R5 unit. Okay. Have you ever watched Star Wars Rebels and watched uh, Chopper? Same same model. Okay. I have not, so I don't know what Chopper looks like. I'm still R2 D2, but instead of a round top, it, it's like a cone with a flat top. Oh, okay, so it's it's like oh, okay, yeah. So still an metric I... droid, just an older model. Okay, so would I just walk out there? Cause yeah, I had perception. Can I p used perception when we walked in and seen more of that? Are you guys witnessed him kick the fucking droid, yell at the droid, and the droid's out working on and taking parts off that speeder? Okay, so can I just go out there and start assisting the droid and talk to the droid? Yeah, info on this. yeah, you certainly can. Yes, I'm gonna go uh, pull guard and try and make sure no one comes up on you while you're doing that. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna start talking to him. Like, yeah, that you uh, I don't like what it'd be a tonal, it? R5K3 is afflicted with bad attitude, common to its model, and it hates its master. And tell all this. If the PCs go outside into the junkyard and talk to it, it will be happy to go inside and steal the HMRI and bring it to them. All the PCs have to do is keep Vorn distracted. Which can be as simple as engaging in simple conversation with him, creating a disturbance in the shop. Oh. 
Okay, okay. Does it have to be in the shop? Can it be outside of the shop? It also says the PCs wish to purchase something else from Vorn. He doesn't have any weapons or armor for sale, but the PCs may be able to purchase stim packs, emergency repair kits. They're 25 uh, credits each. Vorn only has four stim packs and three emergency repair kits on hand. Alright. Um, I guess while he's doing that, I'll go in the shop and tell him we're looking to get some stim packs. Okay, I was gonna just, you know, use my mechanics on uh, Speedo out here and make it, you know, catch on fire or something. Do something to sabotage it, to make it the do something on it uh, so that he would have already, to come out. It's already wrecked, so you're gonna make friends with the droid and be like, hey man, we really need this part. We gotta get the fuck off this planet. You yeah. know? Well, you wanna get back to your, your, your own old fucking. So the droid, you know, <laughs> fucking goes into the thing back out to you with the stolen part while Scotty's buying the stem packs yeah. and emergency repair kits. Okay, he, he, well, uh, I get that. Yeah, the stem packs are 25 credits each. When he comes out with the stem packs, I'm just like, uh, you know what? These look like drunk junk. I don't, I don't actually... I'll go somewhere else and get them. He's wasting his time, eh? I might piss him off. So the the joy got me the the pot I wanted, right? Pretty much, and uh, Vorn didn't see him because he was busy dealing with Scott's character. Scott, I'll buy the one thing back. You're gonna need it. Uh, I, I how big that. is that pot? You know you're gonna need it. I'm gonna I'm gonna step in and I'm gonna give him the. It's all right, Scotty. Okay. I'll, I'll give him the money. I'll, I, I, can I grab it out of his hand and kind of get foot? Yep. Shove the money at him? Yeah, he said 25, yeah? Fuck out of there. Yeah, 25. Is, is, what happened. is the pot, like, big enough to, like, go in a backpack? Yeah, you'll be putting it in the backpack. Yeah, Put I got a backpack. Side. I'm just going to throw it into it. I'm going to pat the, the little, well, droid, and I'm going to be like, good job. Walk away. Maybe we should steal right. the droid too. Now we have should. the part. <laughs> Can He's we steal the fucking droid? <laughs> I'll uh, let you have the part. You have to disable the docking clamps holding the ship in place. What is that mechanics or is that computers? Uh, well, you have to go to the command and control. Do that. So it'd be computers. Spaceport control facility is a low squat building hanging to the edge of Ma Shuda's bluff. Front entrance stands open. A pair of spaceport security droids stand at attention. If you're going to get off Pantween, you need to disable the docking clamp holding the kite phone in a landing bay. You can only do that inside the spaceport. Control. You'll have to either get past the droid somehow or find another way in. So, I have a passive ability called Bypass Security. And I don't know if that's like a security. It says from checks made to disable security. Oh, it's a device. Oh, no, mind. I thought that was something else. That's exactly what I said last time. Really? Yeah. You hear it, don't you? Uh, so it's there's two security droids. Oh, stay over there! I wasn't talking. No, you're not gonna knock shit over. No, those are go lie down. Those are go lie down. Being good, uh, you're being good. Uh, um, all right, what do you guys? Two droids put uh, guarding the spaceport control. Yeah. Okay. I love you too. Ooh. Kisses. We'll give him a nana. Anna so loves your kiss. So there's See, Joel's Anna. garden? Yeah, there's Joel's yeah, garden really guarding the front door. Is there a side door? Ah. Okay. Um, I'm on. Uh, can I huddle with you guys real quick and say you guys go in the side door? And I'll do my best to make a distraction. <laughs> Gonna go hump its leg. <laughs> go hump some droids. <laughs> Okay. Uh, 
Yeah. So there's a side door. No. Is is there a side door hash? Give me a like second. A, I gotta like look a, at the map. Lock door. Something I could probably Do maybe I... hack open. How do I close this? Oh, with this. I'm gonna need that open again. Gotta zoom in a bit. There we go. Spaceport control only has the one entrance to the far right, right here. Oh, how do I do that, Scott? What? Hold down. You hold the the. the... Was it right click? Left click? Left? Yeah. No, not there. Spaceport control. That right there. That's where the entrance is. Oh, shit. So there is no side door, right? Oh. There's no other way okay. to get in. Um. Okay. So oh. as you guys are on your way to the spaceport, you notice... Empire shuttlecraft coming into the landing bay, landing bay bash. That's okay. not good. Well, it's at least not the same landing bay that we need. It's on the opposite side. I can tell you this though. Why is the Empire all the way out here? Are we in know. like the are we in the outer rims or something like that? We're on Tatooine. Oh, on Tatooine. Oh, yeah. they all the time. Come on. Tantooine, no Tantooine on the outer rim. Yeah, yeah, but uh, they they go there a lot, don't they? Oh, they don't. No, then yeah. Why the hell is the Empire out here? That's right. I'm curious. I'm not curious. I want to get the hell out of here. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> I'm about to say that Empire ship. You could always snag that, and then we have the advantage of a ship that's covered by the Empire. Meaning we can go into Empire How territory. How big of a ship is it? It's just the uh, standard three-wing shuttle. Oh, the, the transport uh, shuttle? Yeah. yeah all right. so it's ah. I can return to the Jedi. So we could snag it. We could snag it and fly up to the big ship and try and take that ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have a destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'd fucking die, man. But it would, we would have authorization to land on that ship. They would never know. We'd be fucking dead. We'd land and there'd be like fucking 20 stormtroopers and just... They just gotta get one yeah. lucky shot and we're fucking toast. Yeah. But we could get off planet. Right, I don't uh, think it would get We're planet. just gonna walk Port. up to the front Oops. door and see what happens. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm walk up to the front door with... Uh... Yeah, kinda... the robot tells you you don't have access to this area, yeah. citizen, and you have to leave. We are not the citizen. Okay, what if what if I like uh, you know, fake a fall there and kind of do a Peter Griffin and grab my knee and go? I need assistance. Oh, I need I need help. Oh, <laughs> they're ignoring you. They ignore you. All right, what's what's my uh, what's my difficulty to lie to him? Um, looking, I don't see that anywhere. Why don't you just shoot the fuckers like you did last time? <laughs> <laughs> I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a plan. Okay, what's your plan? What's up? You need to head to the side, like where they can't see you. You need to start shooting your blaster off. Let's, let's, and we're uh, gonna have a we're gonna have the Ewok run to them. Oh, wait the a second, I I was wrong. There is a side entrance. The PCs oh, can find that they go looking. And no one will stop them if they walk up to it. The door is locked. PCs can open it by using yes. Scud, skull 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 dudgery skull dudgery. Yep. Yeah. All right, trigger so, the uh, physical locking mechanism and computers to fake a valid access. Does anybody have some good skull dudgery? I have computers, but not skull dudgery at all. Skull, I got three skull green. Dudgery, I guess is like lockpick. Is that lo I thought computers would be lockpick. Well, it's like electronic doors. It's like hacking a fucking door. Isn't this electronic door though? 
That doesn't sound like it. It's a spaceport. It's gonna be probably the most modified building in the well, the spaceport uh, controls. Alright, what, what do you guys have in Walt their way past the guards. <laughs> Three green. You did what? That's, that's our man. To come up with some sort of reason for the guards let them in, then pass the opposed decent or course check versus the droid's discipline. If the story the PCs come up with sounds plausible. Ward them with a boost die of blue die. If it seems unlikely, give them a black die. All right. I, I would say we just see if uh, crazy eyes can go pick that door. All right. So you guys are going to go to the side entrance? So where is the entrance on the map? Because he says there's a side entrance. Uh, I'll go look at the actual map. It's on the right side. It's that bubble. It? Yeah, it's the bubble on the right. That's disregard one of the successes. I had one of the, the blue die uh, clicked. What about the spells? What's the what's the DC that he's got to roll that against, Nash? To pick the lock? Yeah. Purple. That's whatever his. Uh... All right, so roll a uh, roll of purple there too, I guess. Through the back, I'll be right back. Boom! Right there. That's amazing. Yeah. The man picked it. That's what we like to see. Ryan, were you talking about one of these guys at the junkyard? No the flying guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, uh... <laughs> yeah. Was, uh... <laughs> Always grumpy. Mm hmm. Yeah. Beat Where Anakin's over there trying to buy shit for his fucking. Watto? Uh, what is his name? Watto. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I don't know, man. So, uh, hash me good? Has a you open that shit? Mm. He hobbles, by the way. I don't watch Star Wars like that, man. Hash monkey! Oh, Hash's Discord's cutting out on him again, I think. Hash, Hash, Hash. How did he do that? Hash, can you hear me? I think we lost Hash, guys. Free range, I destroy the spaceport control station. We run over to the <laughs> Empire. <laughs> they see the Ewok, they remember what happened. They all fly away. Oh, wait, this is before that, never mind. This is after the Clone Wars, so they stopped using clones now. Right? Uh, yes, no. Oh, Hash will be right back. <laughs> okay. Give him a minute.
Ah, good times, good times. All right. So we break the door down. And, uh... So, I've been reading while we're playing. Um, you don't die from losing health. You just go unconscious. So both ways, you just go unconscious. The only way to die is from critical damage. Kind of weird, but so I'd be dead in five e like three times over. Cool. Yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah. So. Great. Let me see. That's so that critical tree brought up. Yeah. So the only way to die is once you get to one fifty one plus on uh, crits. <laughs> and how that works is every critical that you have adds plus ten to the roll. Wait, what? Um. So the quit I did oleo add a plus ten to it. Yeah. I was second, I killed that guy. No, 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 no! You didn't kill that guy. Oh, uh, well, plus ten what? So whatever the roll was. So you rolled a forty-three. So you went. Plus 10 to 53, right? Yeah. The only way to kill somebody, like outright kill one of us, is to go to 151 or higher. So, when, so they have to hit a critical roll of 151 or higher, yes. How do you get the 51, though, out of 100? Because. Every time you have a critical injury, the next critical roll, like, say I have two critical injuries on me, the next time I get hit by a critical, it's plus 20. So the first one would be plus 10, the second would be plus 20, the sword would be plus 30. No, 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 like, alright. So every time somebody lands a crit on me, right, it gets a yeah. whole new roll. So mm -hmm. the first time, he could roll a 100, right? Doesn't matter. I become crippled. Whatever. The next time they, I get a critical on me, if I haven't healed that critical, it's whatever they roll plus ten. Okay. So kind of like your vicious is a is a plus ten to the crit roll. Yeah. Every crit every critical damage that they still have on them is an additional plus ten. Okay. So you yeah. essentially have to have five criticals six criticals on you to, to outright die okay um i guess hold on bleeding out every round the target suffers one wound uh for every five wounds he suffers beyond his wound threshold he suffers one additional critical injury so at 131 you start actually dying maybe maybe 126 oh wait uh, if i get wounded to let's say i have 11 threshold if i get wounded to 12 i start bleeding out no, 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 no. This, that was that was one of the critical things that starts at one critical one thirty one. That's where that starts. Okay. So if you if you if you have a max of eleven and you go to eleven, you get knocked out. Okay. Um. But however, uh, one twenty six to one thirty gruesome injury. Random roll. Randomly roll. 1d10 to determine one of the target's characteristics. Um, 1 through 3 for brawn. 4 through 6 for blah, 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 blah. 
that characteristic is permanently reduced by one to a minimum of one. Also, oh, you start losing Kyoko at sticks. Yeah. When you get put down. Yeah, so one one twenty six. Critical one twenty six is where you start losing permanent. I would have ate that mom. Oh you you don't ever really want that. No, you you don't wanna stay with you don't wanna keep criticals on you. Because yeah. the more criticals you have on you, the higher the number can possibly be. Like when you have zero criticals, the highest they can possibly roll is a 100, unless they have something like you do where it's a vicious and it adds to 110, yeah. But so then, yeah. then their then their roll technically becomes 10 to 110, right? But if I have two injuries on me, the roll will be 20 to 120 instead of which starts really getting up into danger stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna double check the drawer, and if not, I gotta bring the grid maker. One sixteen to one twenty. The target can no longer see. Upgrade the difficulty of all checks twice. Upgrade the difficulty of perception and vis vigilance three times. <laughs> oh, you got you got two purple on your vigilance check? No, 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 no. Make that six. Fuck. Okay. Did you guys get in? Uh, it looks like it. I mean, we, we, he rolled good. And maybe they don't notice us come in because he rolled good advantages. Hey, give me a second. Now I gotta find the map for. On. Uh, where do I click for the maps? Alright, remember the little blue drop down thing? Yes, I see it. Grab the player banner and move it over to the map you wanted to go to. I just want to remember spaceport control. All right. Loading. My laptop's slow. might get through this tonight and I'm gonna have to fucking do the, the other adventure there. Did, uh, we go. did you grab the player tab there, Hash? So, okay, so that's the front entrance where the where the bots are and you guys are in the side entrance over here. Okay. Hash, you gotta move our map too. You have to do what? You have to move our map. You gotta grab the red player banner and move it to the map that we need to see. Red. I'm confused. So, the same place that you looked at your maps to change your map page, right? Yeah. You're going to see on Mashuda Streets, there's a red fucking banner that says Players. Yeah. You need to grab that red banner and drag it to whatever map you want us to go to. Okay, give me a second. I don't see a red banner that says Players. Yes, you do. You see no, it, I don't. The individual players. That didn't work. You don't... You, so you see the four maps, right? You see Mashuda, Untitled, Spaceport, and Landing Bay. And create new nope, page. That didn't work. I just accidentally moved the player way the fuck off the cliff. That's not what I wanted to no, do. No, 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 You're not, you're not grabbing those. Not those. Okay. Grab, do your page toolbar, right? Where you see all four of the maps that we already have set up. Do you see the, the thing that has all four maps? Yeah. Uh, just grab the red banner, not, not the whole page. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, there, there we go. go. And I copied them for you already. But there. normally you All copy right. and paste the tokens too. Okay. Now, give me a second here. I gotta... <laughs> uh, I'm not door. Sure. 
Okay. Step through the doorway into a large chamber crowded with computer equipment and centered around a large hollow display showing plot of the local aerospace standing in front of the display. With her arms folded behind her back as a human woman, she appears to be in charge. And as you watch, she speaks to a headset in a formal commanding tone. Imperial Shuttle Lambda 11238. This is Overseer Bryn with the spaceport control. You are cleared landing. Welcome to Mos Shuda. A half dozen technicians of different species work at consoles, and two security droids stand near the doorway. Your attention is pulled to the floor. The floor to the ceiling trans, transfer steel was against the far wall looking over the desert of Tantooine where an Imperial shuttle is coming in for a landing. Is this the is this supposed to be the same shuttle we saw before or is this the second one? It's it's the same one. Okay. Um so you can try and convince her to unlock the dog. Don't tell clamps. us the options, Tash. You can... Don't tell us the options. You can don't don't tell us the I'm... options. I'm not supposed to? No. Okay. We're supposed to figure that out on our own. Okay. The options are like things they thought of ahead of time that players may do, and it gives you an easier way to determine... The more common okay. options. Like, don't okay. worry, the players are gonna ruin it for you. Always. <laughs> okay. We're gonna try and make our own things, but it's not gonna work out. <laughs> okay. So we have a room. We we have a room full. You said a dozen people at the computers and one main Olsen, and there's two battle yeah. droids near and the off. Two more, two more security droids. Yeah. Oh. If you call to the servant, then you'll be dealing with four droids, because the other two from outside will come inside. Mm. Oh, shit. That's right. We did leave two of them outside. Uh, uh. I grab Zertik I grab Zertik Tick and I throw him in there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I grab the teddy bear and throw it in there. Yeah. <laughs> shit. All right. Uh. So, uh, what do you guys want to do about this? There's a lot of people in there. I mean, we can always just go in and start blasting. Yeah. Uh, just go in and splice the computers. I don't have a blast, though, so splicing sounds nice to me, but I don't know how to get in it. I know I have the... I can heal... Wait. Radio waves. So, is there anything in here I can heal? Maybe I don't know. Can I heal with the computers? Or something? I'm trying to figure out what this kill could do. It's it's kind of like a telepathic between its own species. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Hey, little little always, piece. Sea whales. Can I heal that? You could always try and coerce or deceit the the uh, overseer as well. Are they doing anything? Are they moving around, or are they... I don't like... notice you, they're just continuing with their job at the spaceport. Are any of the computers close to our side unoccupied? Yes. Okay, guys, I think the plan should be... Sir Tick Tick just walks into the fucking computer and just oh, yeah. starts typing away like he works there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and if anything goes south, we just fucking come in and start blasting. <laughs> can can tick tick slice computers? Yeah. I have computers. I have I'm rank three two in computers, so I believe I can slice computers. So it'd be two green dice and two purple dice. So, what would I do? I'd add two green and. Wait, what's he getting two green for? He's level three at uh, no, so no, he gets two, two. green for that. I'm level two. No, oh, he, two. he has yeah, he has his own computer stuff. He actually has he has two yellow and a green. 
And then you just gotta tell him the negative ones he gets, or if he gets any extra, like, boosts for any oh, reason. The negatives are only two purple, according to this. The average is two purple per computer check. All right. So generate symbols, a small alarm is triggered. So I, I think you go in and you just fucking start typing away. Yeah, give me one second. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything on about that. If he rolls and triggers the alarm, you guys get a black dice. If you try and convince the overseer, and let the uh, ship go. No, oh, that's fine. We'll worry about that when we get to it. So, am I okay. breaking codes to log into this computer, or am I just? on it you're gonna have to break it like the password or something to log in and it is, so log i'd in. have to get i'd have to bypass security on it yeah that's that's okay. why i have, have a, two, I, I, have, dice. I have a passive ability called bypass security it, it removes one black square or rank of bypass security from checks made to disable a security device or door so would the I'm disabling the security on the computer then? Yeah. It would be one purple dice then. Right? Let's go, Damien. Uh, you got this shit. It's fucking, oh. what, three good to one bad? Yeah. Okay. And Zero for threat, I... though. <laughs> okay. So, now I just roll computers? Yeah, put one purple on your dice pool and then roll computer. Let's go! I did well, I guess. That's a fucking <laughs> triumph. Dude, that's that's the fucking wild card one that, like, does crazy yeah, shit. But he also wrote the threat, so what happens? Well, it, the, the threat canceled out from the, the advantage. If, the advantage look, of the triumph. Okay. Yeah, so, so if you look at the bottom, it, it gives you the final results. Like, it, it balances it all out for you. Then? Releases the docking clamps and gets back to you guys. Job's done. Nobody died. Nobody noticed he was in there. Good job. Run Ooh. away. We leave now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Well, well, I got the. Uh, what's my wild call do? Does that do anything? Can I like also fuck with the empire or something? So here's hash for for your knowledge as well. Um, the triumph, right? He can use that as a success, an advantage, or he can use it as a triumph. Um, triumph for one, one triumph. Upgrade the difficulty of the targeted character's next check. Upgrade any ally character's next check, including the current active character. Or do something vital, such as shooting the controls to a nearby blast door to seal them. So maybe, like, if, if there was an extra fucking security in the docking bay, maybe he fucking... Helped us get an advantage there. I'm ruining everything. Yay! <laughs> no, it's that's good, man. That that shit's fucking good. That's what I want to build my clone to be able to do. Is pretty much like do things like that almost, but mostly more in the mechanics part too. I want to be able to fix things when it needs to happen. So hash, what's What's the word? What's what does this man's triumph do? This fucking what did ungodly I, symbol. What else did I do while it's I gonna, was it's unlocking? Gonna cancel out that fucking threat symbol so the alarms don't go off. No, that got canceled out from the advantage. Yeah, though. that got canceled from his advantage. If if you oh. look, that's that's why I said at the bottom it tells you everything that wasn't canceled oh. out by each other. The triumph would be in the docking. Clamps unlocked and being unnoticed and just fucking back to the the side door, side entrance. Oh, so I did it so well that's it, like I was never there. Nobody exactly. noticed. Anything. Nobody noticed you. Okay. No alarm set off. You got lucky. Okay. That's not how things that. went for us when we went through it. I'll take that. <laughs> you mean uh, we killed back everybody on? in this building? That's what happened last we ended time. Up fucking pretty much killing everybody. Yeah, every fucking. Didn't expect Whoever it to go this way, did you? I, it went very bad for us. All right, hash. Let's let's get to moving. Where are we going? Where are we going? 
So it's up to you guys now. You can figure out what the stormtroopers were doing, or you can go to Crite Fang and get the fuck out. Dodge. All right. What do you guys want to do? do the, the ship's unlocked. We can take off, or we can go so out about. It. You still gotta fix it. So I could go and convince them that I got the part, and I'm here. To, I'm gonna fix it if they give us a ride. While you guys go and investigate, or we can. I don't know. I feel like this is gonna take a minute till we fail. Crazy eyes, what, what, do, what, do, what do you think, crazy eyes? Should we just try and get out of here, or do we wanna go see what they're doing? Oh, let's get the fuck out. Alright, let's go. We're, we're going to the fucking landing dock with the part. With the fatal. Go to the fatal. Yep. Watch the Destiny Pool. The PCs are more than just smugglers, bounty hunters, and renegades. They're the main characters of the story. They are touched by the Force. The Great Destiny. This destiny is represented in the party by the Destiny Pool. Building Destiny Pool. Each hero now rolls the white force die once for each white roll. It's the destiny token in the destiny pool. It's white side filling for each black clip rolled. It's the destiny token in the uh, black side showing. This destiny pool is a collection of destiny tokens that both the GM heroes can manipulate should be placed somewhere within the reaches of the players as a particular factor as is practical all right everybody roll your white die so water bottle tastes good it's gonna yeah then and then scott i don't know how to put that pool up with tokens i'll let you do that because you can use what the fuck why did it roll like three million fucking things hold on that's not right yeah just oh. one white die yeah, I don't, I don't know why it rolled like that. Okay, I got two lights. Why did mine roll a fucking... I don't have a click. I got a black. Oh, I, 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 roll, I rolled on Zertix on accident. Whatever. Um, why did mine roll a purple? I don't I have clear, it. Clear out your, clear out your dice pool yeah. and then just. Yeah, the there's, again. there's nothing there. I don't know. Just hit the, hit the reset button right next to the dice roll. Oh, that's what the, the refresh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, hash. We ended up with uh. All dark then light. That what four. Four little circles for the dice pool. Yeah, we, we have... ended up with two, two light and three dark. All right, so we got to put that in and somewhere. Where can I put that? Yep. Uh, so everybody, I got it. Everybody, go on your uh, page, and there's a button on the left hand side, right below your dice pool, in the destiny pool. It says sync with GM. Okay, both the GM and the hero players can use the destiny pool to upgrade s skill checks. Each time a check is performed, the active player may choose to spend one destiny to upgrade one of the ability dice to a proficiency die. And the other players, often the player controlling the character who is the target of the action in question, may do the same, spending one destiny upgrade one of the difficulty dice to a challenge, a challenge die. When the hero players do this, they spend one light destiny by flipping destiny token from its light side to its dark side. The GM does this. He spends one dark, one dark destiny and the opposite. If there are no destiny tokens showing in the correct face, that player cannot spend destiny points until some have been flipped. Yep, so how it works is every time we spend a light it goes dark every time you spend a dark hash it goes light okay. we can do it to upgrade our own or we can do it to downgrade or make it harder on the other person 
And, and you do the same back to us, basically. So do we all have to hit this pink pool with the GM or... Yeah, it, it, you should have two light and three dark in your destiny pool right now. Yeah, I didn't even hit it. It just did it. Okay. Oh. <sighs> I think the only one person has to do it. Maybe. Alright, we're good. We're good, Hesh. Hey. What are you guys going to do? Do you want to explore Moss Shooter some more? No, investigate we're... the arrival of the Imperials? Go directly to the landing bay? Landing bay. Landing bay. We don't want anything to do with those, those tubules. Right, so I go to... I moved the player tab while you were reading, just so we could look at the map. Yeah. Alright. Oh, shit. Really? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Going for the shanty town. <laughs> uh, we want to go shantying. We like poor people. <laughs> that, uh, that lap dance brought in minor slut. <laughs> he made so many credits that day. <laughs> but then we launched ah, on new okay. galactic diseases. Okay, now I get it. I know why they're there. Okay. So, which guy? Which path are you guys taking? Uh, I think we're just going this way, right? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Start the edge. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we're going right to the building. Hug the wall. Oh, that's that's the edge of a cliff face. There, you got to go through the town. Oh. Okay. Can we can we come through this way and? Oh fuck! Can we can we cut through here? That looks like it's a little open, yeah. Or no? Yeah, you can cut through there. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like this? Yeah, that that, that looks good to me. Where's the entrance to the landing bay? Probably on the right side. It looks, or maybe right okay, here. So I would assume right there. Once you guys or... get to the water tower area. Okay, so you guys are... Square is that? How do I click that? So once you guys get here... Okay. Yeah. Once you guys get there, suddenly the crowds thronging the streets of the settlement part, and you see a chilling sight. Three soldiers in white armor of the Empire's elite stormtroopers. As you see them, you realize the lead trooper is pointing right at you. you hear the voice break through the crowd, sounding mechanical through his armor speakers. There they are! Trooper says, get them. A dive for cover. As you, <laughs> as you turn to the gate, you see a second group of three stormtroopers approaching down the side street. This could get tricky. Yes, dear. This is not the group oh, you're looking well, for. So, what, are, the, are the clones Vale and, well, the troopers, are they Vale and, like, on the side street over hill? Yeah. So, the hill and hill. So, okay, I need so book it through the building. I trooper tokens made for this. Where are they? How do I do that again? Make tokens. I had other character tokens for... You gotta get more familiar with this. Scott was supposed to... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm putting something on the map. And I messaged him here and there and never got any replies. Invited him to Xbox Live parties to talk to him about it, but nothing happened. He's a we're slacker. Gonna, we're gonna use uh, these things right here. How many? How many do you want? Six. How the fuck can I get rid of my shit? Yeah. Which is fine. There's three troopers for each group, so I was just going to use one. That works. Why is there no race? There's six I don't know where you want them, but you have three about here. Boy. How do I click that? What uh, what layer are you in, Hash? So on your on your left hand toolbar, you'll have like your your mouse thing, and then it's either gonna look like a location marker, a square, or an eyeball, or a fire. That second fucking thing there. Scroll over that. We're gonna put one group. <laughs> That's not what I want. 
<laughs> well, that wasn't it. All right. So you're gonna go. Oh, it it should be the it should be the square. It should be a square right now, right? Objects and tokens. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now click your right top part on there for select and move. Put and then... that, that one group right. Put that one group right here where this yellow circle is. The other group should be about here. There's a bunch of brown shit on the map. I try to cover up my shit. I, I don't know why I can't control Z my fucking. Someone took a dookie. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Looks like I somebody to cover it up with the the color of the map. Uh... <sighs> All right. So there. And and we're right here at this little white dot. Oh, yeah, get on top of me. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, here we go. We need to fucking book it this way. Oh, wait, can we book it here? Can we go? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Just take that back way, man. Oh, shit, but we're not going to be able to fucking... Oh, God. I, I think we need to go, like, straight across and try and lose them over this way. Will that droid help us? Does he have any combat powers? Is he uh, proficient in any uh, adroit will help us? Yeah, because I think if we go towards the landing bay right now, we're just going to be basically inviting trouble. Like, we're going to be bringing them to our final spot. I still have to repair the ship, so there's yeah. no fast takeoff. Yeah. So I, I, think, I think we just book it back to the left, right? Just go back this way. They're going to cut us right there, though. Uh, can we... There's droids and shit right there. We can't go back that way. Yeah, I, that's yeah. Wait a minute. What the fuck is up here? Can we can we hide up in here? Can can we? Oh, that goes uh, to another like uh. Oh yeah, there's a little bridge right there. Yeah, those... that's a ridge here, and then that's a ridge there. Like that's like an island. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. there's there's a little bridge right here, Hash. If you scroll in the map, there's a bridge that cuts right here. The bridge is over on the right side. Yeah, there, oh, there's, there's one right here. There's too. a bridge there, yeah, but there's there's one yeah. right here too. It's like there. a step way up. You can draw them in and go around them, and sneak into the landing bay. Yeah, I think I think we just go up this way. Okay. Cut across this one. I'm gonna go to the bathroom again. I'm sorry, guys. Hide, hide in here and then come back down and to the landing bay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... So get up in here and just sneak around, lose the the shoopals up in there, and just sneak away over to the uh, landing bay. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm gonna put a I'll just stare the fuck down with my. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> and the old stink eye. I was ex came into this expecting the worst with this die shit, man. This die shit is fucking something else. I'm liking it, man. Like, yeah, it? yeah it's, it's fucking something else. That's it. I'm getting more good walls than anything on this one. Right? There are no goddamn nat ones. I swear he has the nat ones count on like. Mm -hmm. um, I have never seen so many nat ones in one session. Oh, dude, it's bad. It's a five percent chance for a one and a five percent chance for a twenty, but it's always that fucking one. Yeah, you know, that one. Po I, that one pops up so much. I think it's like a fifteen. Oh, Not even. Right. It's like at twenty-five. It happens so often. I uh. I seen this this video. Me and Nick actually looked up the video, and it was this dude goes, "You can intercept the fucking packets because it's the the, the rolls are not to the game. The yeah. rolls are server based, so the rolls get sent to the server and then back to us, and you can intercept them." The rolls when they're coming back to us, you can intercept those packets and you can change those rolls. And I'm over here like Scotty's fucking intercept those fucking packets and make them. 
So of the nat ones in all campaign, are they are they uh, set to five percent? They're set to whatever roll twenty put them at. I bet you know, at like higher than shit. Oh, one hundred percent. No, dude, he's gonna go look and they're gonna be like at forty five. <laughs> and the crits are gonna be at like twelve. Listen, I critted three turns in a row on you guys. I was just like, yeah, see, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're critting. Yeah, yeah. I'm natting three turns in a row. So don't, don't. Mm -mm. Usually, how it worked in my experience, if you crit, there's gonna be a nat one within the next in that turn. Somebody's gonna fucking nat or fail, crit, whatever the fuck. But but in this one, it's you, you, you nat, and then somebody else nats. And somebody else nats. Oh, yeah. And That's then you true. quit because you're attacking us. Yeah, it's it's something. We should go into that and look. I'm more fucking afraid of when I roll something to hit, I don't I don't give a shit if I fucking miss. That's fucking, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to nat. It's, it's, it's just, I'm going to yeah. roll a fucking one. I miss, I miss. Oh, I'm afraid I'm the net gonna... now while hitting because I fell my rage the one time. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm a mage and I can use fireball now. I don't even have to roll to hit anymore. And I can even turn my ones into two, so it's not even a... I'll just use magic missile and just fucking... <laughs> I don't have to do none of that. Do you know how hard it is not to give you guys like information about what's happening in the background of some of that campaign right now? A lot. There's some shit I just want to be like, okay, this is happening, guys. You don't know this, but this is happening. Oh, it's dude. Like, oh. oh, dude, I already know shit's happening. You threw dragons that didn't do anything with us. I know shit's happening. Uh-huh. Oh, it's going to be those dragons, too. Watch. They're going to come back. You throw shit at us, and we think so much into it, and usually... It has nothing it's, to do. It's it's nothing. It's it's just be, the halflings and dwarves are being nice. It's nothing. It's they're just. Oh, dude! I already know there's a setup going on there. There has to be something going on there. He's trying hard to make us go in the houses. Oh yeah, you just walked into a mimic. Yeah. And then it's, it's either that or it's a fucking. What did I look up when I was looking up that when I messaged you that shit and I was like, oh, there's hags and I want something else to fucking that just. Does that shit? And we made that character. There's one that like, it's like the Hydra, only it makes those people that it absorbs or whatever, and it has its little like, um, fuck, yeah, it can represent those things, and all it gives off is like a sulfur smell, but it it replicates those people that it absorbed, and it's that's I'm sitting there thinking like this is a fucking false Hydra thing, like it's it's, this isn't right. I was no, just waiting to be. I'm, I'm waiting to die. There you go. I'm waiting for um whoever Brizo and whoever else Ferris that went in that person's house. They're gonna fucking just disappear off the map. I'm around. Uh, I'm fine. Disappear on my I'm run. fine. I have a man with a fucking loot in yeah, front so of me. I'm telling you the answer right now. Yeah, he's telling us right now. It's a minute. It's, he's mimics and mimics fucking doppelgangers. doppelgangers. Mimics can talk though. No, the mimics are the houses. Oh fuck! Oh, so they're luring us straight into the fucking mimics, bro. What's the, wait? What's the doppelganger? Oh, that's a, just a person that pretends to be something. Isn't they're, it? I don't. They're like shifters, that. yeah. Isn't he gonna die too? I don't like that. No. Oh. Okay. I don't like that at all. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm fucked. So go ahead so and take a three D twelve damage. Here's what's gonna happen, right? The people that are already inside the houses. Are gonna get locked inside the mimic and have to fight the doppelganger and the mimic by themselves. Simultaneously, everybody else that's outside is gonna start combat with the doppelgangers and the mimics that are remaining without people in them. It's so the go are the mimics by. large creatures? Yeah. Or houses? Yeah, there's there's a large mimic. Oh, is there just a bunch of mimics in this house, this one giant mimic? No, so really what it was was this this encounter was meant for 3.5 where there was animated objects. And so there's no true animated objects in 5e, and if there are, they're like 
fucking 15 HP. Yeah. So I just took the stats of a um, of a large mimic, and that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna fight with it like it's the animated object still. Okay. Man, I was so happy. I was gonna make a tail and all that. I was I was waiting for his diary just to do it too. Why well, asked for it? He had me so happy. I was actually gonna do something that was like proactive for the for the group. I wasn't gonna have like. A whole horde of orcs try and kill us. Think about it, guys. What what's the what has been the world building, right? How many other humanoid villages did I say there were when we started this campaign? I don't remember. But those none. none. I don't. Zero. Yeah. I remember that he said those none, but they're not humans. And anyway, the dwarfs. Not, that's not human. That's a that's a thing. Yep. So originally, um, there was gonna be an encounter in one of our old campaigns that we that campaign ended up just fucking dying out. They were almost to the fucking thing, and it was gonna be a traveling village hmm. in the desert. And that's why they were able to travel is because they were fucking mimics. Is that why it took us forever to get to that fucking village? No, no. No. That's the different thing that's going on in the background that we're not going to know about. Yeah, sure. Fuck. No, that's just the closest that Mr. E had a travel point. Oh. Uh. Well, my one question is, is... We got sent out there because of those missing people. Who the fuck gave them this info? Because uh, those no missing people. Those no people here. I mean, yeah, there are missing people, but we're gonna have a, if we make it back, we're gonna have a talk with our all wizard. No more fucking free walk. I ain't no fucking charity over here, man. <laughs> Damien's just gonna be like, "Fuck this," and he's gonna be like, "All right, cool, man. You can stay dead." When I got Tasha's, I f was flipping through, and I seen this thing, and it said, like, a, a quarter CR mimic. And Scotty goes, what was that? I remember, well, yeah, you were talking about the mimic. He's like, oh, mimic, yeah. And then, p mimic. <laughs> Threw it at you, like, ten minutes later. Oh, God. That was, like, a s fucking session or two ago. I don't even think. Yeah, that was when you got the info about the town. That's why I was just, I was laughing. I was just like, oh, my God, he doesn't even fucking know he's really about to fight mimics, too. God damn it. That's why, honestly, mimics. like, following a module like this would be so fucking hard for me. Oh, I just, yeah. Like, I, I just do so much random shit, like, on the spot a lot of times, too. Oh, dude, it's so hard because I wanted to do some more random shit, but I was like, well, it, it, yeah, we're following the script on it, so I can't really do too much. Because I was just going to stop fucking with people at the junkyard real quick. I was gonna steal that robot too. <laughs> I still want to steal that robot. I think. Fuck yeah. I think when we, oh fuck yeah, we went this way. If we would have went the other way by the junk shop, like you oh, yeah, that fucking droid. <laughs> I could communicate with him. Yeah, absolutely. I I could. I I could communicate with him right now, couldn't I? Technically, I I can communicate and. Uh. Radio frequency. I know that Joy can pick it up. He could, uh, cause a distraction. Or come to us, meet us there. Yeah, I can have him meet us there, and then he can assist yeah. me in repairing the ship, and we can just take yeah. off with him. Guys, Fuck this know, guy. You know what's sick? I don't even have stealth. That's so fucked up. Fucking fast that I got stealth. I know that. How far away would you say that, that uh... That, uh, Wobot is. I mean, he's multiple, multiple buildings away, dude. What yeah, the yeah, fuck? Like, oh, nope, that's you not you say what I he's, uh, a hundred kilometers away? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kilometers? Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, cause I can, I can, my range on that is a hundred kilometers. You like, you like my auto advantage that I get on that roll? Fucking love that. Fuck my life. 
You don't even get you don't even gotta roll a dice, you just get an advantage right away. How the hell did mm. you It's it's uh, why do you use no, no, no oh the the light? Oh. oh I'm talking about the light. No, he Oh had... I I still had it clicked. I didn't Yeah, he, he had a fucking force dice in there. I don't understand that shit at all. What? So we're not gonna get well, I'm not gonna get that force stuff that he's talking. I don't know how long this module is. No, you can you can use it on any roll. Now, if I would have went with a droid, I wouldn't have been able to roll for the light, the force. No, it's Thanks. it's it's destiny points. Yeah, the destiny points. I wouldn't have been able to roll for the destiny points then. Why not? You have to be you have to be a living creature for destiny points. Ew, gross. Yeah, if you go into the droids, it says that you can't use it, but the droid novel has to eat, sleep, or drink. Uh, he gets a whole bunch of, of like, things, but his starting characteristics are 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Guys, I should, I should grab a rocket launcher. Fuck yeah. See, I was thinking about that. Or putting my points instead of light into heavy, but I was looking at a heavy, but it takes, like, three actions or some shit, and you need other people or something to hit set up like a it's a turret is what i read the heavy so oh you're talking about walk. uh you're talking about the, the toilets that they set up you know one has to carry the gun one has to carry the ammo they set it up and go yeah that's what, the, stand too. that's what the heavy heavy is man i could just see you walk just sitting on top just, <sighs> you're just sitting over here making fucking rolls and shit <laughs> yeah, well i got I don't know, my chat disconnected and everything, and I've been trying to reconnect it here. Oh, well. Oh, shit. That map is clipped. Yeah, I know. That was my style. Because what, what it is, um, is you know, from I didn't the book, realize. and the book literally oh, right there has it in the crease. Ah, uh, right Why God, is God. this not working? Yeah, you're welcome. I put that fucking map together. Fuck you very much, Brian. Uh, yeah. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> Alright, this is great. This is light range. We'll see what's he got. I want to hit. You'll have to explain what my uh, my other talents do. My force talents or whatever the fuck those are. The other ones. Because it says I get other shit. I don't it's know. It's from your, your skill tree shit. Your, your yeah. Feats. Some of your feats use force points. <laughs> Right. So when would I ever use my like knowledge skills, like education, or outer rim, or under underworld? I mean, we're in the outer rim now. You could have used it for knowledge about this world. I don't know anything about. Like I don't. I didn't know I could do that. Like that's what that, that's my knowledge. All right, we're going here, and we're gonna we're gonna try and oh wait, sorry, we're gonna try and hide out in this fucking area, hash. So do we want to all stealth then? I'm a stealth. Is there any buildings in there, or is it? Yeah, there's there's a shit ton of buildings. Do we yeah. have to throw anything into that, or we just wait? no? Because it, it'll be a kind of roll. Those are probably lodgings. Okay. It'll be like our roll I've, versus I've their rules. I just this area here to start looking for you. I'm not there. Fuck there. Do I get advantage? <laughs> That's Missed not the thing on. Anyone, is it? Oh my god, I forgot to do the fucking thing for. My happy needs to wait. Somebody start a fucking uh, a poll for. Advantage. Yeah, for the advantage. Oh, we can't do that. Only you. Only you can do that. Wait, really? Yep. That's right. Who all, right, all has advantage? Do we do we fucking hide? Are we? Are I have we my successful? honesty advantage. Uh, Dude, I've, I think I've had my advantage for like full sessions now. That sounds like a personal problem. Yep, yep, yep. I was gonna use it, but I was like, I'm waiting until death rolls again. <laughs> Just use your fucking advantage instead of reckless attack. I get advantage on a reckless attack. Yeah, but they don't. If you use your advantage or your uh, inspiration. 
Wait, Rex, what? where are you going, buddy? If you use your advantages that are reckless attack, you. Oh you no! It. It, would, it would only go on one hit though. It wouldn't go on both hits. I got gotcha. you. Everybody's got fucking four attacks except me. Heather. That old man is tougher than the fucking stormtroopers. <laughs> they don't want you to steal the part. Yeah. That's Wait, hey, hey, don't beat on the computer. Uh -oh. You fucking clown. Yeah. I feel like we should go back and fight that old man. <laughs> He's a clapper, Daddy, not a clapper. He's a crapper. Yeah, he knows that. Yeah, he is. He's a butt crack. No, he's not a butt crack. Don't give me a baby or. Okay. They managed to temporarily lose the stormtroopers. Oh. Okay. Temporarily. This area looking for you. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna try to make our way Downtown. across the bridge here. Across the bridge faster. and into the landing bay. Base is past him homebound. We have to make more stealth checks then. Do we need to make any more checks or do we just can we just go? Like we're moving stealthily the whole time. Checking to make sure we can't be seen, all that kind of fun stuff. In total we have nine advantages, so I gotta get something to drink too, because I'm out of water. Why are you spitting on me and calling me? Oh, I'm getting back to this then, if that's happening. Do you have the Corona, Rex? Yo, let's let's have finish up this character, Damien. That's what I'm doing. Have you been licking doorknobs? Do you have? Oh, the I have 85 left. What will you like? I've gotten some play now into it. I do want to have something in my weapons, though. I don't want to be able to steal your knife. Okay. No offense. Tell how the whole character's nice. I, I also looked at her character sheet. She uh she never ended up adding that extra 25 experience. And she's also started at, like, 800 gold. Oh, damn, so that's, that's not that's, bad. That's a huge difference. <laughs> what did he do though to get all these hooks well all these wings though she's like rank two in a bunch of things rank one in a bunch of things she didn't level up her characteristics she just leveled up skills probably she's two three three two two one so what probably did one of them yeah, maybe. Do, 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 do. that's nice i mean you already have two points in your fucking light weapon so that's not bad i mean that's the max you can do too is is two skill points on character creation okay oh, you walk yeah, i got two in that and then i got two in resilience which is okay uh ooh. sorry I um you're fine i mean i would just Like, this is the best time to move up your characteristics, because you have a bulk experience, right? I could probably vote in Intelligence again. Oh, I could do in to, uh, Vaughn. But I, mean, I don't think I have anything to use that. Agility and Intelligence. And I already did Agility once. Yeah, I know. 70 points to put Agility at 4 and Intelligence at 3. Or 40 and 30, respectively. <sighs> I'd be great with like oh, what you days days when I die. Yeah. Like that's you and then fry. and then after that I could stop moving down my tree. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually Eat it, buddy. a good deal. Eat it. Get those nutrients. And then when I move down the tree, I can also move my <laughs> computer and all that up because I'm only at one for both. But that. Yeah, but it's what that's the yellow. Right. I got two. I got gold in both of those and the. Fucking green. 
Yeah, but if you move your intelligence up one, that's also going to give you an additional green in those skills that have intelligence. Yeah. Well, 70, it would do that? It would do, I get intelligence up one and agility up again? Yeah. Oh, that's going to be 15, and I could actually move into my, I could get one more skill, or I could move into uh, my tree. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's a pretty good move. I think. I'm probably gonna do that then. You're getting those base stats up. Those base stats are. Because later in the game, like when we're doing. Like getting experience throughout playing, it's, it's gonna. become May real life discipline to save that experience. <laughs> I have zero. Like discipline? Yeah, I have disadvantage in real life on discipline checks. <clears throat> So, come here, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Take your pants off. Change your butt. So you said later on in the game, it's gonna be discipline that helps me keep my. I missed that a little bit. No, like you personally, your real life experience, your real life discipline is like how you're gonna save up experience to fucking buy oh. those characteristics. Oh, dude, I, I'd want to, like, blow it in these skills. I really yeah, would. But... That's, that's what I'm saying. That's why right now is the best time to do these characteristics. <laughs> because you have a bulk of experience, and it's... My gosh! Oh, really yes! It's easier to buy the characteristics now than trying to save for them. Yeah, because, like, right now, I'm one in computers and one in mechanics, but I have the gold and two greens in it now, so that's good. Yeah. All right? And then oh, you what? Got the my light. Two of the golds and a green and two greens. That's pretty good for my light. I'm gonna be hitting maybe with grenades and stuff. Yeah, that's that's what I have for my fucking my heavy. Oh god. My bronze though, on the other hand, is uh not so great. Your what? My oh my my. my oh, your bronze. Like yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I hit. I have a better hit with my hands than I do with uh, a melee weapon. Oh, because you took a point to do it. Yeah. Yeah, which I kind of yeah. regret right now, but just swap them. I mean, I am making it anti. Well, do I want to keep it in my melee? Uh, damn. Excuse you, Rex. That was gross. Yeah. They, no, would... Yeah. yeah. So... Doesn't guess I don't have a uh, chance with my weapons. I would, I would say put it in melee instead of brawl, and that way you can pick up a backup fucking close range weapon. Ooh. Low key, man. Does 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 Jasper hump stuff? Uh, not hump stuff, but like he's trying to stand up. Like he puts his hand on it and he tries to stand up, and he falls, and then he tries to stand up again and he falls. So. Both my kids did it. Her fucking Lyra didn't do that, but the other two fucking have always, like, I don't know. So I have 15 yeah. XP left. Okay. Yeah, man. Oh, my bad. That was an accident. I didn't mean to push your shit. It did, man. Why are you covering your ears, Rex? Hey, you know? So I would try to look at, like, the skill tree wow. from here, or, or basically the talent tree, or, or skills. I honestly, okay. I really think you should pick So, up are you guys deck. making a run for the landing bay? Uh, we're not making a run run. We're, like, stealthily moving through everything and trying to watch for people ahead of us. But, yeah, we're, we're going towards the landing bay. Okay. Oh, fuck. Well, the troopers won't see you move. But you have noticed they've started crossing the bridge. We're gonna follow that the one we first. Right there. The one we first crossed. Yeah. yeah. Cool. They're, they're like behind. We get it. Yeah. We wanna, we wanna follow that path right there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Guys. Guys. Should we break the bridge? After we cross it. You can cut it. I bet it's made out of wood. Like, rope and wood. Yeah. Okay. Well, would that be a check? This this one right here? This, this yeah. one right here? That one? Uh, yeah. I, th I thought those would be steps. Like, up, up toward... Yeah, those are, like, steps. Oh, are they? So okay, this is yeah. A... So, yeah, cut that That's one. That's a bridge, then? Yeah, I'm okay. gonna cut that. I'm gonna cut the rope supporting it. Do I have to do roll anything? Looks like it's, uh... The rope bridge, eh? Yeah, it looks like it's a rope bridge, oh, probably. Shit. Hello? Yep, yep, hello. We hear you. Door's locked where? Oh, phone. Door's locked. Are you here? <laughs> the door's locked. It's a bridge. We're crossing. <laughs> it's a bridge. It's a bridge. It's right. <laughs> Would I have to roll anything for that? <laughs> I don't know. He's on the phone. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, no. Would I just roll my melee to see if I hit it? Yeah. Hey, see, uh, yeah. I know who it is, and you need to settle down. Jump it. Uh... No, sir. <laughs> we should just make a band of Wookies. In your band. In your yeah. band. Oh, I got company oh, guys, my dog. Stay. You can stay with you. You get to be the king. You get to be a little. It's the, it's the Ewok. Uh, Alright. Um, the Ewok that will the Wookiee. Yeah, oh, got the witch. No, not yet. Why? Oh, no, I thought you said you had company. Come over. Did you spend the night? No, it's just not. I don't know. Is he Canadian? Yeah. Oh, wait, I, I can tell that. I have a question. Uh -huh. would, would Stone Troopers, like, communications in the helmet, would that be radio waves? Probably. Can you disrupt that? Dude, I can communicate with it. I can hear it and I can talk to it. Andrew? Yeah, Andrew? 100%. Say they're, uh, they're not the droids you're looking for. <clears throat> somewhere <laughs> over somewhere else. We got supper. Are you staying for a bit? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, just hang out up there. Look around. Beat on the obsession with his holographic waifu. <laughs> what? I forgot about that. <laughs> you got a speeding ticket? Bad. Go, go, Is there go, anything like that? Go, go, yeah. click Zertic Tick's uh, character sheet and scroll down to um, game mechanics. <laughs> Obligation. <laughs> What? <laughs> I totally <laughs> forgot about that. And you even made a name for it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> I totally forgot about her holographic waifu. Oh, that's great. Hollow tacos. Magnitude is 10. I'm assuming that's, uh... <clears throat> and then I also have... I also have microvision. So I can see things. Like, the one way up. Uh, <sighs> My daughter has come to visit, guys. Yep, oh, hello, daughter. For my birthday, she brought cake and pizza. Is it the, uh, the one with the, the little screecher? Oh, my middle baby. Ah, okay. You can let him out now. Well, just, do you he gets very excited so and jumps and 
Um, I don't want to say done, done. I'd like to play a little bit more, but like I said, I can't do this and, and entertain at the same time. No. Dozer, Smith! You're good, man. We'll uh, pick up.